crucial game for both clubs. North Melbourne Essendon to start round 14. Thanks to Motorola. Triple M rocks football as the umpire puts the ball down in the middle. That could have been a free kick to Alessio against McKernan, but the umpire said play on. Smoke and Jomas. Looks thing. forward like he gains some ascendancy. Umpire at the bounce. And Anthony Rocker on the ball for the Pies. Ball knocked out by... Yet taken by Buckley. And Collingwood first into attack. They're going into this breeze in the first quarter. Inside the 50. Rover wanted at the front of the pack. Solid tackle by Sav Rocker. Williams goes in and applies some pressure. The Crows have cleared. The ball's gone backwards and sits dangerously. Hart's got it, though. Beautiful hand pass to Goodwin. Smart. Holding it in one hand. A la Kudafides. Out towards centre wing, big ones. He did it well, down towards the forward pocket. And Benke's down there alongside Wren. The theorist marks for the Pies. And pumps the ball wide. Buckley, there's a big talk today. He won't be tagged, Graham, so it'll be interesting to see if anyone does pick up Nathan Buckley. Burns playing game number 100. Finds Rocker just outside of 50. His brother's on a lead. He's got him. Yes, well, it was the classic switch play. Adelaide rebounded well through uh, Nigel Smart, but a good mark to Rupert Pathuris in the back pocket. He switched it immediately. Collingwood running down the outer side, and uh, Anthony Rocker perhaps could have had a shot, but he would have been kicking into a slight breeze. Uh, he saw his brother on a quick lead, and, uh, gosh, doesn't Sav Rocker need a goal early just to get his confidence up? And both the Rocker boys, Graham, uh, last week we saw Buckley and Williams both do well for Collingwood. The Rocker boys were down and Collingham got thumped. Well, he's a much maligned player, Sav Rocker. He's booted 25 goals for the season. This will be just the start he needs and also for the Pies. From 48 metres, Sav Rocker trying to bend it back. He's missed. So through for a behind. So maybe not good for the confidence, but an early touch is just what he needed. Well, he's kicked so many goals. I, I agree with you, Kevin. I think he's much maligned. I think he's probably... Uh... A very, very better than that. player, and uh, although he needed to slot that goal. Hard into Johnson. Johnson run down by Leon Davis. Kick close to the boundary line and floats over, out of bounds. Quickly taken by Davis. Into Anthony Rocker. Buckley and Williams both peel off. Sav lopes at about the 50. Anthony could kick it longer than that if he wanted to. I think Goodwin's got Buckley today. Yes, he's, he's, he's definitely manning him up, Kurz, and, and, and they're trying to set a shield for him. In the direction of the 50. Fraser is there. It comes to the front to Big Sav. He dishes off the hand pass. Williams dangerous. Oh, beautiful pass. And right in front, the Mark Tarrant. This will be the, the great jewel of today, I think, with Robin playing on yes. Tarrant. This young boy, Graham, is a real talent. Look, I agree with you. He's, uh, he's not only a real talent, he's one of those exciting talents. He does a spectacular thing and just has a, a bit of class about his disposal, too. I think this boy will take uh, in excess of a dozen marks today. <laughs> Kicked 23 goals for the season. Right in front, 40 metres out. Oh, it's away to the left. Another miss. Two set shots, two misses. You can't afford those. You cannot afford those on a day like today when it's pretty good conditions in which to play and uh, you waste opportunities. The other team will go straight down and kick a goal and burn you badly. And against the breeze, according to Curl, too. The Pies into attack. Connell. Wins a lot of the ball. He was on the out of there for a while with the Adelaide Crows. From the best and fairest winner, Eccles. Comes away from half back. Kicks straight inside the centre square. Out in front is Welsh. Just couldn't take it on the second grab. Ground level. Kicks it off the ground. Keeps the ball alive. Taps the ball out. Trying to crash his way through there was Davis. It's been pinched by Edwards. Sets it up to Rusciuto. Some run now through the centre square. Johnson was caught. Goodwin. Quick hands. Gets it back to Rusciuto. Never stops running to Gallagher. They've been forced back inside the centre square. Connell goes short. One-on-one -on -one contest. Now a mix-up. Wren, nice to see him touch the ball. Prestigia Como to Burns. So the Pies with numbers out of the defence. Overrunning the ball was smart. Reese. Reese Shaw is super quick for a Shaw brother. And a Shaw son. Of course, son of Ray Shaw. Goodwin. 65 metres out inside 50. Chance here. Oh, it's a and a great grab. Is that Benke? It's Brian Benke. He has got excellent hands, and we keep saying that every time uh, we see him play. He's been back at Port Adelaide for a few weeks, but if he puts himself in front of a pack, the strong spoil from behind is absolutely imperative. And it looks like Rupert Bathurst there is uh, his opponent, but that doesn't seem to be a particularly good matchup. Graham, a lot of uncertainty amongst the Crow boys already.
Just his sixth game for the season. He's beat at seven goals. Benke directly in front. Rod tells the story. Seven invites you on a journey. Runner? Into fatherhood. That is my son. No, 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 no. Tyler. He's bringing his son home. The young man is whizzing on the exit door. And the big city is going to get... What's Matika? A little savage. Ah! Martin Shaw. He's doing a favorite. No, no, no. Tim Allen. Oh, oh. oh, no. Toyota presents Jungle to Jungle. Okay. Premiering tonight, 8.30 on 7. So, Brian Benke getting the first goal of the day. Playing on Batheris. Ball back in the middle. Rocker against Biglands. Biglands wins it clearly. Comes back to him. And clears the centre square. Throws into attack again. Here comes Wren. This time it hasn't been a knee. It's been a cheekbone. Back to Costa. Round the corner. Confidence by Batheris to take the mark and dash away. Mercuria. Williams didn't see the tackler Edwards coming. Batheris kept going. Good defence by the Pies. Kick bounces to the 50. Sav clean, bold by. Comes to the back. And it's cleared out of defence by Gallagher. Edwards. Johnson. Kick by Johnson to half forward. Beautifully measured ball. Absolutely fantastic kick. The mark to McGregor. Ken McGregor. Too far out to score. He's a good honest play, young Ken. Good hands, long kick. Ran front position. Punch to the front. Rover wanted for the Crows. Costa couldn't get clear with it. Well, the umpire let it go for a while. Here's Burns. Anthony Rocker in the last line. Floats one over and Williams is away. Comes away from half back. Long loopy handball. Scotland. To centre wing out in front. And Johnson's got it. It's impressive, this boy. He's a fine young player. Just his first year up from the under-18s. Sav was the high flyer. Davis pulled oh. off the ball. Will take the free kick. Yeah, Leon Davis promises to be a really electrifying player. We haven't quite seen it yet in the games that he's played. Well, he is super quick. And so there's Reece the Shaw. And for sure, speed on Smart that got him that mark. Well, he's just playing his second game. Bit of a surprise to the family last week when he was in the side. His father wasn't there to see him play. And, and of course, Tony Shaw, his uncle, turned up to the game and <laughs> got the shock of his life when he saw his nephew running around. There's, some, there's something about the expression of this boy, too, that uh, says he means business. Well, he's got some big wraps. 45 metres out, sure. He likes the look of it. He's banged it through. If the spark's gone out of your life and your relationship, maybe it's time for you to get healthy. The Sunday Mail and Advertiser present Healthy Living, a seven-part magazine with a wide range of topics to help you and your loved one lead a healthy and balanced lifestyle. From eating for life to personal health and beauty. So get your life, your health and your relationship back on track. Get Healthy Living in the Advertiser all this week. Reece Shaw gets the first goal of the day for Collingwood. He made a good debut last week with 17 possessions in his first game. Fraser on the ball. Anthony Rocker had started there. Edwards gets the hand pass. Connell. McLeod. Gang tackle. Down went Goodwin. Costa, high tackle. And it comes to Edwards. He spears it wide to Benke. The theorist with him. Well played, Rupert. So he's conceded one goal, but Rupert's won the last two contests. Away to Lacuria. Down the line towards half forward. Tarrant just inside the line. A nice kick. Very nice kick. Just in front so he could run onto it. And uh, Rupert Batheris conceding in the air to Brian Binky, but actually mopping up beautifully on the ground. Kick by Tarrant. Oh, Davis. Oh, magnificent. Oh, what a beautiful kick. How do you get that far clear out on the forward line? And here's a chance for Davis to line up a goal. Nick Davis. Ci tengo la mia macchina, sai? È proprio un amore. E capirai, quindi, mi è venuto quasi un attacco cardiaco quando ha cominciato a fare bang, bang, bang. L'ho portato subito oltre giù. Nel meccanico mi ha detto che si trattava del timing. Hanno fatto la diagnosi, me l'hanno aggiustata e non mi hanno fatto pagare mica tanto, sai? Oltre giù, brava gente. I speak my language. Ah, 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 ah. 
great start by the Pies. 2-2-14. The Crows. One solitary goal. But just the confidence they needed. Josh Fraser started in the forward pocket. Now having his turn in the ruck. Speak of the devil. Just tumbles the ball back towards centre half forward. Tarrant looks sharp early in the game. Hart to Rusciuto. To Eccles. So it's a quick kick back towards centre half forward in the bounce. Favors Davis. He's just come off a goal. So the confidence is high. And Betheris. Plenty of run out of defence. Sets it up to Williams. He was off. Burns runs hard from half back. Lukey handball intercepted. Good play by Rusciuto. Tries to set it up. Crunch to the ground. Loose ball. Eccles. Looks like he's in trickle. Half forward line goes to ground. Back to Benke. Stands and delivers. Kicks the ball along. Michael stands his ground in front. And a good strong mark in front of Sean Wren. Well, there's some good signs for Collingwood here. And like this forward setup of the Crows, is not very active at all. Michael. So the Pies finding plenty of space out of defence. Kinnear tumbles the kick forward. It was an absolute shocking kick. Shaw the tackler. Comes back to McLeod. Can he set it up? Goes very, very short. Now the ball is coming back. And the free kick's going to Nigel Smart. You see, he, the, the setup with the Crows with uh, Welsh in the pocket and Bennett full forward. Not quite working. Eccles from just forward of the wing. Players looking into a weak sun from there, but it hasn't stopped Michael. He's taken a couple of good marks in the last minute. The way to Lacuria. Collingwood have opened well. In fact, they should be four goals straight instead of 2 2. Lacuria tried to beat the park, tried to beat one too many. Yeah, There's just a bit of desperation, a required amount of desperation for Scott Roche there. I think that's what Michael Milehouse would like to see, though. Players being prepared to back himself in and take them on. Well, you've got to give it first time, though, Kills. Yeah, but he's trying to create. You're dangerous at this level if you try and do too much with it. So Scott Welsh with the free kick after the tackle. A breeze to assist him, 50 metres out. Way to the right all the way. Yes, it's not a good place to put it at Football Park, but with the breeze coming over his left shoulder, perhaps the left-hand goalpost, Kevin. Yes, no doubt about that, Graham. Oh, 2-2-14 two, two, and 1-1-7. One, one, the Pies in front. Fraser sets himself. There's the big grab taken by McGregor. Quick hands to Eccles. Point of the square, short. Costa. And that's the problem. If you don't take the ball cleanly from the kick out, if it rebounds, there's always players who've been left in the defensive screen. And Kim Costa finding a, a little bit of space. It'll take a good kick from Kimmy. He's not the best goal kicker in the world. What's your prediction, Graham? I... Uh, Three's behind him, Kills. I, I think he'd make it. Just the one goal for the season. Costa. Bends it back. Kicks a goal. Well, it's Ken McGregor. He's got right back to the centre. The big, booming uh, torpedo punt from the kickoff. Marked by McGregor. He played on very quickly to Eccles. And Eccles finding uh, Kim Costa in space. Here's the kickoff. Just watch it. Kenny McGregor getting behind the pack and takes it cleanly, but plays on quickly. And Andrew Eccles spotting Costa. Of course, everyone's run forward for Collingwood. He's by himself and converted nicely. Well, Nick Davis playing on Kim Costa. They're a goal each. <laughs> Davis got forward, but it was Nick Davis's kick out. He went for the big spiral and really set up a goal for the opposition. Rusciuto out of the middle. Very high ball with the breeze. It gets some great distance. Punched outside the 50. Buckley loses it. Edwards, not without a chance. He straightens towards goal. Wren. Oh. Oh. He means so much to Adelaide. The crowd absolutely love him and will him every time he goes near the ball to get it. He does it well here. Just gets the big body up early. And Simon Prestigiacoma, who's a much underrated player, unable to do too much about that. So this for the Crows to take the lead. They trail by a point. Welcome back, Sean Wren. I'm young, I'm handsome, I'm fast, I'm pretty, and can't possibly be beat. I have wrestled with an alligator. I done tussled with a whale. I done handcuffed lightning, throw thunder in jail. I murdered a rock, injured a stone. I told you today, I'm still the greatest of all time. I told you all, 
that I was the greatest, 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 greatest. It is Mitsubishi. Fellas, just for your start, the Conrad Boys forward line is giving Tarrant a tremendous amount of area to work in. Yes. And Fraser's right out. Well, Rocker's right out of the pocket. Josh Fraser in the ruck against Biglands. McLeod means so much to the Crows. Playing on the ball. Pump forward. Taken away by Rusciuto. Came from Connell. 55 metres out. Big kick. Big kick. That's in to catch everyone out, that kick. Well, I think you're right, and maybe the breeze just caught it. Mark Rusciuto is a deceptively long kick. Just watch the centre bounce here. Adelaide's breaks at the moment. This is the fifth centre break to Collingwood's one, and the quick kick from Matthew Connell, who knows where it is. Mark Rusciuto running onto it. He, he knows what he can do, though. Sees the goals, gets it in the air, and it carries magnificently. Scott Heatland getting ready to come on for Collingwood. He gets Heath Scotland curls. Well, Collingwood started like a rocket, but the Crows have come back at them. Biglands, but it comes to Buckley. Kicks the back of the ball. Leon Davis, spoiled by Gallagher, by uh, Johnson. Comes to McLeod. Up to the 50. McGregor sandwiched. Burns interfering. It was going to be advantage. It comes to Welsh. He gives it height with the breeze. It's offline. And out of bounds on the full by a centimetre. Some of the fans in that pocket are not too pleased with that decision. Well, it looked like it bounced on the line from here, but we're a long way away from it. No correction, that's Andrew Dimitina getting ready to come on, boys. So it will be a Collingwood free kick in from the back pocket. It's 4-1 Adelaide, two goals, two Collingwood. After the pies started so well. Preston Giacomo, he had no room to move there. The umpire says, you can't do that. Now, there was a shepherd. Was it an illegal shepherd? The free kick is going to Collingwood against Wren. Hmm. Gee, for a minute there, I thought it might have been a, a Wren free. How could it be an illegal shepherd? Well, I, that's that's uh, we, we'd have to see that again. I, that seemed to be the umpire's signal with his arms akimbo, but oh, I, no, no it, uh, I Kevin Barlett, explain that one, please. Hi, he contacted the player high, I think. Paul yeah. Williams takes the mark at halfback. Williams just means so much to the Pies. His partner in crime is Buckley. He's got it. Has to play well today. Pumps the ball back towards centre half forward. Sads! Oh. That's what they want to see. Sav attacking the ball ferociously. Johnson goes to ground. Gallagher. Ooh. Now the free kick will go to Johnson. Some good signs there with Sav Rocker. He's Look, it doesn't got to really attack the ball. It doesn't really matter if he, he, he doesn't mark it or he marks it or not, but. Uh, if he's attacking the ball strongly, he's certainly creating chances at ground level for the players around him. Johnson will be kicking from 45 metres. And again, he's pushed it left. So the Pies have missed some opportunities in this first quarter and through for a behind. He's yeah, just a bit anxious with that when he, he pushed it rather than hooked it. But uh, against Adelaide at Football Park, you have to take your opportunities. Shane Abrey off, boys. Crows by 10 points. Oh! Hart's kicked into set. Rocker kicks a goal. Oh, Benny Hart holds his head. Benny Hart holds his head, but his players, his teammates will run and say, look, it happens every now and again. Uh, Sav Rocker alert. Did he give him the required 10 metres? Let's look at that. But uh, alert grabbed it. Every fullback's nightmare. Well, it's good signs again for South Rocket because at least he's concentrated. He's not just standing on the mark, standing there as a statue. Here it is again. Benny Hart trying to spot on the kickoff and Sav Rocker alert. Whether he's the 10 metres back is another matter, but good enough to take it and even better to convert for his first goal. So Crows now by four points. O'Brien off the ground. He hadn't had a touch. Comes to Connell, bounces the ball outside the centre square, up towards half forward, good use of the body, Michael over it. Ball's flipped out, here come the Crows, Welsh the hand pass. The shooter's knocked down, comes back to Welsh once more, he pushes it wide to Biglands. Does the big circle, part smothered there by uh, Josh Fraser. 
Scotland. Good spotting by Scotland to Johnson. Out of wing. Collingwood showing some signs here today. Kick by Scotland. Rocker on the bounce. Davis just pushed aside. Rocker did well. Buckley. He breaks the tackle. He can score Nathan Buckley. Should have. And another miss to the pies. He just couldn't quite settle. He, he saw the space, tried to get around and couldn't balance himself. Saw the empty goals and tried to spot it. But the thing about Collingwood at the moment, they're using the ball so well. And Buckley is clearly on top of the middle on either good one. So well in field play, I should say. The goal kicking is disappointing, but they are running strongly and throwing the ball around quite well. This time Hart doesn't muck around, kicks the ball long. It's a poor kick. Benny Hart will want to get out of that job. So Heath Scotland has marked just outside of 50. Goes short to Josh Fraser. Who's getting better with every game. Again, another loose play. It was a poor kick. He was looking for Williams. Welsh chips in and from half back kicks the ball wide. He's looking for a Rusciuto. He's got Dimitina the beat who just paddles the ball along in front. Gets good support from Davis. Rocks the ball wide to Lecuria. Loves to carry the ball over the top. Buckley 55 metres out and closing. Nathan Buckley has kicked a goal. Well, it was great play by Dimitina, who deserves everything he gets. He's come to an AFL football the hard way, a long route to get to an AFL list. It did the work in front of Marcus Sherrod. The ball came to Buckley. It wasn't a great kick off the boot. It wobbled, but uh, it had a laser-seeking device on the goals and <laughs> it found its way through. Nathan Buckley so far has had six kicks. He leads the competition in kicks, averaging 21 per game. And he's off to a great start with a goal as well. Edwards took it a long way. Dimitina, bowled over by Rusciuto. Spills to Connell. A high ball for Wren. That's where he likes it in the air. Another mark. That's a good mark. He was under all sorts of pressure. And as I've said before, Simon Prestigiacomo, most underrated. He was right there, got the fist, but did, didn't connect the ball. And Scotty Burns coming in, trying to lend support, but Wren kept his eye on it, clasped it, dragged it down to his chest. Wren for his second goal. Beautiful kick. Well, just maybe the forward that they've been looking for. Darren Jarman's not there. Scotty Walsh has been very good, but there hasn't been that forward in the Adelaide forward lines that can actually command the ball. Someone to stand tall and take a big, stronger defender out of it. Matty Connell gets it in the air. Just watch the mark. He's under all sorts of pressure, but perhaps because he didn't take it first grab, he was able to gather it when it came to his chest. Well, he's a terrific player, Sean Wren. He's had to put up with so much too. Two marks, two kicks, two goals. <laughs> Playing in front of Prestigia Como with his height. If they get the ball down quickly enough to him, he's going to be very difficult to beat. 31 plays, 28, 5-1. The Crows, the Pies, 4-4. Edwards, been one of the best this year for the Crows. Buckley does well to Johnson. Just a roll of the shoulders by Buckley. Edge of the centre square, wonderful kick. And finds Scotland. Welsh off for Vardy. Peter Vardy comes on. We know he's such a dangerous player. Scotland goes wide. And he finds Davis. Oh, Nick Davis again. Finding his face. Now he's run off half back. Uh, Andrew McLeod, I think he's his opponent because Kim Costa was, but changed with Andrew into the centre. Has absolutely sprinted down, found some space in the forward pocket. And will hurt Adelaide badly if he can convert this. Well, he should kick a goal. He'll be kicking from 45 metres. Plenty of goal, face open. He likes it, he's popped it through. He's nailed it. Hi, I'm Peter Garrett from Midnight Oil, and I'm with Ivy. Ivy's back. The Salisbury grandmother who got tough with home invaders. This time, we are all in danger. 
Now she wants to stop SA becoming the nuclear dump state. And South Australians will benefit. Rubbish. And she's not alone. I'm with Ivy. I'm with Ivy. People should sign the petition for the sake of our kids. Plus how the GST bites. And who is our biggest boot of the year? That's today, tonight, 6.30 Monday. Is Adelaide specialise in that? Especially in Grand Farm? No. Ball back in the middle. Higland's doing well. Soccer forward by Connell. Buckley a punch. Williams a bad bounce. Ball palmed down. Buckley a fierce tackle. Dislodges the ball, but too the tackle high. was high. Yeah, it's too high. This is the problem for the Crows. Buckley is clearly on top in the centre. Goodwin is not finding much of the ball at all. Eccles takes the kick. Up short to Kane Johnson. Straight down the centre corridor. Wren with Michael. Oh, that's a good mark, Simon Prestigiacomo. Prestigiacomo goes towards the outer side. Might have been a change down there with Michael going on to Wren. Shaw in just his second game. He got the first goal of the game, which was also the first goal of his league career. Punch down to the front. And the hand pass back goes to Bassett. Well, he decides to give Savrocker a bit of a run down the ground. And the Hound does it well. To the 50, over Kinnear it goes. Kinnear getting back to it. And over the line is not a bad result. And we'll have a throw in. Yes, well, it's the Adelaide bench here. Peter Caven there. It can be useful at centre-half back. Andrew Crowell and Scott Welsh have been taken off and hiding in the corner. Brett James, who just would love to be out there. Just under four minutes left in this first quarter. Dangerous kick being marked by Johnson. He's been very handy in this first quarter. Four possessions and two marks. Big reputation coming out of the under-18s. Williams. He'll take the on. for the He'll... Pies. He takes everyone on. Runs the half back, goes short to Davis. Been so handy. He's yeah. of two goals. Looks like it's been planned for him to wander down to the half forward line. Loose ball across half forward. Davis is quick. Super quick. Comes away short. Rocker. Second grab. Got him. Oh. oh, well done, Leon Davis. Oh, Leon. Well done. The kick wasn't quite good enough. It's just a bit oh, too oh, high, but uh, watch the reach of Rocker. Oh. He's lost his boot. He promises so much too, doesn't he, Anthony Rocker? He's booted 27 goals for the season. You've got to remember also that the Collingwood boys have had some distractions this week. They've had the problem over in their club with the bars and that, and now they've had the bus problem this morning or on the way to the ground, so they've settled in very, very well. Well, we know the distance won't be a worry for Anthony Rocker, and you can see with that camera shot down the ground, plenty of goal space for Anthony Rocker virtually directly in front. So the distance won't be a worry. Mm -hmm. Straight through the centre. Well, he pushed it to the right, uh, but he knew what he was doing, but it came back in nicely. And uh, Collingwood are throwing down the gauntlet here, I suppose, on form. You'd have thought Adelaide at home particularly would have run away with this game, but Collingwood have come to play. They're using each other. They're running strongly. They're accurate disposal. Watch the crumbing here. Just Davis gets in, gets out, accelerates, sees Rocker on the lead, just puts it up in front of him. Breach, double grab. And they are definitely here to play football. And that breeze is picking up a little bit. Still over two and a half minutes to go to quarter time. Bigland's doing well in the middle. Down to Goodwin. Very high kick. It's up there for a week. Comes off hands. Vardy just on. Went too fast for the footy. Betheris claimed. The umpire says, give it to me, I'll ball it up. Interesting stats. Adelaide in this quarter inside their 50, 17 times. Uh, Collingwood only 11. Adelaide in 17 for five goals. Collingwood in 11 times for six goals. That's pretty good efficiency. Goes Goldwoods, comes to Edwards, has been a top player this year. Got great vision. And McLeod will be kicking from about 45 metres with a breeze right at his back. This is a kickable goal. Uh, Drew, a lot, a lot of people back back home, particularly in uh, Collingwood, might be saying, where's where's Anthony Rocker playing? Well, he's, way, he's dragging Robin way out in the pocket, so he's not going to see a lot of the ball by doing that. I think they're trying to restrict Robin's running too, Curls. I think so, that's correct. But So uh, don't be disappointed if Rocker doesn't feature well on the, in the game. McLeod shot. 
at post height or better. Do you get the accuracy? A goal. Yes, well, he is a champion. There's no doubt about that. And he knows Adelaide's in a little bit of trouble here. They've got a game on their hand. He's just drifted down from the centre. The ball comes out. Tyson Edwards, who's been busy, sees the space, puts it up to him, but he's looking already to convert the goal, and from 49 metres, just scrapes it in. And a coat of arms, a tattoo on his uh, shoulder, his, uh, his family's crest. Well, it's been a goal-kicking spree first quarter. 12 goals kicked, 6-1, 37 the Crows, the Pies, 6-4, 40. Some young players doing well for Collingwood. Reese Shaw and Johnston, Nick Davis and Leon Davis. Bit of talent at Collingwood. Coming across strongly in front yeah. is Bethiris. Oh, Hasn't been paid the mark. That's a mark. Gee. Can come away. And speaking of Johnston, he's got it. Cross half back. Usually a beautiful kick and sets it up well to Williams. So the Pies have used the ball well. Burns runs hard. Playing his 100th game. Being bundled over line that time by Tyson Edwards. Is this a mark of Rupert Bethiris? Let's have a look at it here. Just running in. First grab. Off his shoulder. Came off McGregor, did, didn't it? Came off McGregor. Yeah, yeah, probably. And a bit of Kinnear. He might have had first and third touches. Minute left in this opening quarter. Davis with those quick hands. Williams runs hard to centre half forward. Rocker stands his ground. Bats it strong. Been oh. pinched by Davis. He's going to kick his third for the quarter. That's unbelievable. He's yeah. kicked three goals from the half-back flank. Oh, that's great football from the young fella. And uh, Bassett has done so well here. He's forced Rocker under the ball. But look at Davis. Look at the quick hands. You hardly saw them. Uh, Williams dashing forward. And Bassett has forced, forced him. Un almost takes it. Will take it if it hasn't been for the dash of Davis. And, of course, he's split the line. Goal in front of him. And three goals in the first quarter from the half-back flank. And Heath Scotland set it up with those wonderful hands, too. Actually, Leon da he, Davis has moved forward now. He, I reckon he got his first two from back there. But they might have said, well, he's kicking goals so well, we'll actually put him up the half forward. And that's where he was for that uh, centre bounce after his goal. Crows have it. Goodwin to McLeod. Beautiful kick. And on the 50, Welsh, not without a chance of getting the 14th goal for the opening turn. This is Davis's man now. Kick by Welsh from 52 metres. He blazes for goal and is out of bounds on the full. So it's hard to work out, because I think uh, Davis, has, as Drew said, has gone to the half-forward line. Uh, Gallagher's on him, and I think Ben Johnson, who was on Gallagher, has actually gone to half-back. We'll, you're we'll correct. Watch it. We'll watch it closely. No, you're correct. Preston Giacomo, close to the line in the back pocket. Oh, Kinnear. It's a throw-in. Kinnear was playing for a free kick, but he walked the ball over the line. We've got just 15 seconds left to quarter time. So a chance for the Crows. Ren to do the ruck work. Takes the front position. Nathan Buckley just falls on top. And a ball up. It's a very good quality of game too for teams that are, well, I'll so down the ladder. So no time to score. So an amazing opening quarter at Football Park with 13 goals being kicked. And Mick Mouldhouse, he'd be pretty happy with what he saw in that first term considering the as Curl said before, the way they had to prepare for this game, uh, Legionnaire disease break <laughs> breaks out in you know yeah. Collingwood, which was a great concern to them. They've had team meetings, and of course the bus breaking down, coming to the ground, and having to jump into cars, which Mick Mouldhouse was able to just grab from uh, off the off the, uh, the side of the road. Good spirit too, the Collingwood boys in the centre of the ground, uh, Kevin. They are running together. They're getting out of the group, getting over to the huddle. Body language is good. Oh, that was an incredible opening turn by the visitors. Everything against them, but they outscored the home team by nine points. Seven four six one. This news. Oh. Pro six one thirty seven. Reese Shaw off the back of the square too early, unfortunately. Brett Biglands. He's got a mighty leap. Rusciuto kicked a great goal in the first quarter. Goes wide. The danger man. McLeod needs a kind bounce and gets one. Outside of fifty. Centering kick to the square. Wren looks dangerous. Couldn't take it. But he got his hands to it. He did everything right, Ke Kevin. He got his body where it should have been. And you can see... He was disgusted with himself. Not then. happy with himself. Because He's he very hard on him. So he gets his hands to it. Cleanly. But it bounces off. Hands too hard. So a chance for the Crows. Michael just thumps the ball forward. Buckley 
Happy to kick the ball off the ground. Connell runs it over the line. For his toss back in. Because the uh, <laughs> ball found uh, Scotty Bird's playing his 100th game today, too. Been a very, very good player for Collingwood since crossing from Norwood. He's back home in Adelaide today. Wren rips it to the back of the pack. Rusciuto, awkward bouncing ball he couldn't pick up. And then applies the tackle. Throw in. The ball up. Have a look down there at Josh Fraser being worked on. Tarkin Lockyer and Shane Watson haven't had a run yet. And O'Brien was benched after about 10 yeah. minutes after not getting a touch. Well, he's had plenty of touches this year, Simon O'Brien. Wren did well in ruck. Oh, yeah. fantastic play. Benky the mark. It's fantastic in the air, Brian Binky. Very rarely let, lets the crows down, but just struggles to find a permanent spot. First grab, second grab. Perhaps the second grab was the reason he took the mark. Benky gets the goal. Yeah, guy in the car. Which one? That first encounter. Can you just pull over? It's about sexual attraction. Not my time. Get over it, okay? Seven's new hit, Street Mate. That you're desperate. Tonight at 7:30. Tonight on Seven. Hey, baby, you wanna come over for some of my hot? Greg's playing naughty games. That's not me. Whoops! Hold the phone. Hello, mother. Tonight, eight o'clock on Seven. Two goals to Brian Benke. Crows drag it back to three-point ball game. Biglins, he's got a great leap. This time the bounce favoured Anthony Rocker. Williams to Buckley, so the old firm worked the ball back towards centre-half forward. Tarrant took the front position. Hart, the crummer, just belts the ball wide. Eccles, Rusciuto, plenty of support. Good tackle that time by Dimitina. Loose ball, but Ferris tries to tickle it out. They'll share it around. Scotland was involved. Williams and Buckley through the centre square. Yeah. Centre half forward. Here yeah. comes Sav. Couldn't take it. Bassett was right there. Smart. Comes away. Kicks it wide. The loose play has been set up. This is Goodwin. Nathan Buckley's opponent. Casual bounce. Just weighs up the option. Centre half forward. Bickland's in front. Make that Wren. Got his hands on the ball again. Edwards. Short kick. Goodwin. Plus 50. Well, it's all sorts of pressure. I'm not sure the 50s there. Kirby certainly squashed him. <laughs> and Ty's there, it's giving it lots of air. Simon Good running strongly. Mm. Yeah, I've seen you. Well, you've seen 50 for a lot less, haven't you? This is the way to hurt your opponent. Uh, Nathan Buckley finding plenty of the football. He's kicking the big Sav Rocker. Magnificent, but beautifully spoiled by Bassett. It's rebounded. Goodwin's been involved in two plays and now shoots at goal. Kicked nine goal for the season. Across the face and through for a minor score. Fellas, while you're there, I think Collingwood have restructured their forward line. They've opted to take um, one of the Rocker boys out of there for a smaller player, and that's brought Robin on the Tarrant at centre half back. That could be dangerous for the uh, Collingwood boys. Yes, well, Fraser's on the uh, bench, so big Anthony Rocker running as a ruckman. Burns weighing up his options and then goes for as long as he can to Anthony Rocker. Can't complete the mark. Ball taken by Goodwin again to McLeod. Half distance past to Costa. And Kimmy Costa in that little zone again when the kickoff uh, is turned over. I think the crowds are like to see Biggie take that one, Graham. Well, Kimmy might surprise you. Kick the goal in the first quarter. This from about 47 metres. <laughs> he may not either. When he left about that. Well, he would tell his teammates all about it had he kicked it. So The disappointment was uh, Anthony Rocker not taking the mark, Graham, Ooh. because he was clearly yes. you know, uncontested. Burns, short to Johnson. It's been very handy so far. Six marks to Ben Johnson. Seven possessions from the back pocket. It's oh. a high ball. It's a shocking kick. Hugs the line. Now, Mel Michaels claimed the mark. And the boundary umpire. Well, see, they're out on the full just mark. Conferring. Yeah. So, it's a mark. <laughs> Michael to the centre wing. Smart. In front. Takes a good grab. 
I think you'll find Wosley's the boy that's come on uh, on the half forward area. James been a, Wosley. Been Can a wonderful player, hasn't he? Nigel Smart. Gallagher. Improving player. Oh. And Becky again, just too strong. Great hands, Graham. He's got very good hands, and the kick was really good. The, the lead was that was tight snippets again, I believe, but just the classic overhead mark. Brian Binky. He's a bit deceptive, Graham, because you know a lot of backmen think oh he's too short to take big marks. It's like Stephen Cobbing curls. Yes. Very true. Big bomb. Through for a behind. And Adelaide now wasting their opportunities as perhaps Collingwood did in the first part of the first quarter. Josh Fraser has been worked on and prepares to come back on for the pies as Wosley leaves the scene. Wosley got a bit of a run. Didn't see too much of the action. In fact, didn't get a touch. Here's Davis back in the back line after kicking three first quarter goals. Close to the boundary line, Buckley used his opponent to push away and get some space for himself and then couldn't believe he dropped the mark. He's a clever player. I'm not sure how legal that is, but... As long as the ball's within 10 minutes, that's fine. So here's Fraser. He is decked in the ruck contest and will take the free. Number one draft pick. Buckley cruises past for another possession. Up towards the wing, Rocker. Good stuff by Connell to get back. And Hart shepherded Rocker off the contest. Perfect kick to Rusciuto. Just forward of the wing. What a game. Scores level here. Collingwood really giving a good account of themselves. The ball just carries to Goodwin. Eccles. Smart. Back to Goodwin. He's the man, Simon Goodwin. Come back, son. Great goal. It's lifetime health cover. For me, it's all so simple. Oh, no, not that out again. You get lifetime health cover? No, I never got around to it. No, I did. No way, I was paying a load in. I take care of myself pretty good. Guess I missed out. No, not yet. But better get a move on. What'd you do? Went with Medibank. Couldn't find a better deal. How'd you work that out? Watch the ad. I made the call. Crows are in front, 52 plays, 46, five scoring shots to none this quarter. Pies started well. Gallagher got the bounce he wanted to McLeod. Goes short to a contest. It wasn't a good option. Loose ball. Man in the moment. Good one. Runs to 50. A long bomb. He's kicked another one. Hit the post. Well, all of a sudden. He looks so dangerous. Well, all, of, all of a sudden, of course, uh, Nathan Buckley has to pay a bit more attention. Nathan Buckley, 11 kicks, uh, one mark, one goal, one. Uh, Simon Goodwin, six kicks, seven handballs, three marks and one goal, two. Davis kicks the ball along to the square. Now, Biglands was the high flyer. I thought he may have given away the free kick. Dimitina, good hands. Comes away from the point of the square, gets a shove, goes wide. Shaw pulled off the ball. We'll take the free. I'll have to come back. 7 4 46 Collingwood, 8 5 53 Adelaide. And Shaw playing his second game. He's kicked a goal. It's a beautiful looking kick. Finds Dimitina. Too far out to score. Tarrant used his body. Just didn't quite get the bounce he wanted to. Hart comes away. Gives it across to Gallagher, who's been very handy in the second quarter. The run of Robin comes away from half back, sets it up. Biglands went to feed it off to Rusciuto, kicks a high ball back towards centre half forward. Now there's a free kick that's been paid to that's the Crows, case. and Binky's taking it. Uh, it was a long, long way off the ball. Well, he was obviously impeded in his attempt to lead. The umpire's on the spot and seen it. Gee, a long way away to be giving a lead. So Benke is going for his third goal and nails it. Last month, as Miss Lucy Dawson returned home from work, her boyfriend Ross finally popped the question. Luckily, Lucy was insured with Amy, 
who, unlike most insurance companies, believe if you've held a rating one for the last three years, you deserve to keep it for life. Which all goes to prove. Lucky. Well, it's been all Adelaide in the second quarter. They've kicked three goals, four, and Collingwood haven't added to their score. And the Pies are going with the breeze. Buckley, chopped off by Goodman. What a game. Out wide to Smart. Shaw did well to close him down, but Smart drew him, found McLeod. All Adelaide across here. Wide open, out in front of goal. Connell on the lead. Wren couldn't quite pluck it. Edwards at the back. And he's got another one. Well, that's powerful running football by Adelaide at the moment. And Simon Goodwin, Benny Hart just running up to him uh, out of screen, tapping in and said, well done. It was an awkward ball for McLeod to take, but he's balanced. Seen the Adelaide players who'd stream forward and Matt Connell, who is in everything, looking for Wren, hands to it again. The two Collingwood players up. Tyson Edwards on the ground, swooping on it. No one between him and the goals, and can't afford to give him that. He's a very accurate kick. Well, the Crows have booted four goals in 12 minutes. And Goodwood gone to the half-back flank now. The Pies haven't scored in this second quarter. Dimitina just forces the ball out of the centre, and there he is. The man of the moment, Simon Goodwin, pumps the ball wide. He's looking for Edwards. Got the bounce he wanted in front of Burns. Some fancy footwork. Burns kept his eye on the ball. Falls on top of Edwards. There's no free. Rusciuto closes quickly. Great hands. Gallagher, very impressive young player. To Wren, who stands and delivers. Big pack of players. Benke again looked dangerous. McLeod off target. Out of bounds on the full. I tell you what, fellas, it's great to watch a game of AFL footy today where the emphasis is all on attack <laughs> and not this stupid defensive flooding business. Well, you win them how you have to, Curls. Well, there's a lot of run in this game. Michael carries the ball, gets good support. Just ran into a roadblock from the shot of Rusciuto. Bathyrus has to backtrack, concedes ground. Some twisting and turning, Bathyrus. Tripped the light, fantastic, and then finds Williams on centre wing. The Pies into attack. Tarrant looks dangerous. He's a great runner, Chris Tarrant. Covers a lot of territory. He's got great hands. Buckley, too much carry on the ball. It was a poor kick. Johnson tries to keep it alive. Buckley, quick snap. He's missed. Through for behind. Just the kick to Buckley wasn't, uh, wasn't good enough. And the handball put him under a lot of pressure. He just could not get the ball up to the boot the way he wanted. James Cave and Crowell and Peter Vardy shaking his head on the Adelaide bench. Edwards outside the 50 to Eccles. McLeod in between halfback flank and the wing. And haven't Adelaide got into gear in this quarter, led by Simon Goodwin. Smart, dodging and weaving, heading towards goal, thumps it long. At the back, Welsh. Biglin's there as well. Preston Giacomo trips over. It's still there for the Crows, but spills to Buckley, and Buckley clears. 14 kicks to Nathan Buckley. Fraser into Burns. Burns to Williams, who's got space on centre wing. Not the greatest of bounces. But he did it well. Dimitina down the line. Wasley's come on. Kick by Wasley to full forward. Shaw! Sure! Right at the top of the goal square, Reece Shaw. And he's found plenty of room, and uh, that's Nigel Smart's opponent. Nigel, who was involved in that forward thrust for Adelaide, not able to keep up with the young man who's exploded on the rebound. When the ball's turned over for Adelaide, Reece Shaw has run as hard as he possibly can, found himself on his own when that ball came to him. So Shaw for his second career goal. It... Whoa, here come the Repco Big League Legends. Valvoline SH 2050 Gold Label 6 Litre Bonus Pack, now only $12.95. Munro GT Gas Shockers, number one for comfort and safety from $79 a pair. Bosch Super Spark Plugs, four pack, $9.25, six pack, just $13.85. High Roll, the pump 350 gram emergency tyre inflator with bonus tyre shine, only $7.95. 
Legendary brands at legendary prices. Available at all Repco stores. Well, that young man on screen has booted two goals. Reece Shaw looks a real talent for Collingwood. 65 plays, 53. The Crows in control. Rusciuto, the ball with strength. Just a roll of the shoulders, back towards centre half forward. McLeod was a clever knock on, then wins the crumb. 45 metres out. McLeod! Magnificent! Yeah. Well, there's nothing he can't do. There's nothing he can't do. He's so beautifully balanced. Never under any pressure when the ball comes to him. Mark Rusciuto involved in this, but uh, look for Andrew McLeod. It's a, it's a high ball, knocks it on. Stops, props, so much time, but most players will be under all sorts of pressure there. A little wag of the finger. Back in the middle, 11-5 to 8 goals, 5. Ran on the ball, what a beautiful hit out. And Goodwin does it again. Oh. Goodwin's just switched from the half-back flank onto the ball and takes advantage of Ren's ruck knock, and that is classic. Well, at quarter no. time, Drew, I think it was mentioned by Graham, he'd had one kick and four handballs, uh, Simon Goodwin. He's now got nine kicks and seven handballs, so he's got 16 possessions. Biglands for another one. The whales have survived extinction once. But now some people want to hunt them again. I think um, the moratorium should be lifted. The whale's future will be decided in Adelaide. Their intention is a return to commercial whaling. On 7 News. Savage Garden, live and on tour in Australia. This is your show, OK? With exclusive backstage footage. Baron's temperamental. A two-hour world premiere. Savage Garden, live and on tour in Australia. Monday on 7. Those by 24 points. They trailed by nine points at quarter time, so it's been a 33-point turnaround. Wren, it's been magnificent today, and he's come back game. Hero of Football Park, Presti Giacomo, edge of the centre square, pumps the ball down, playing in front was Tarrant. Was pulled off the ball that time by Hart. Gallagher, well, he's been very, very impressive. Coming across half-back, he finds Welsh. He spent some time on the bench as well. Tyson Edwards runs hard to create space, and Gallagher runs hard. He's got yeah. it on the half-forward flank. Well, that's the secret of attacking football, to get your half-back line running. So he shares the ball around, finds Connell. Poor kick. He may have been looking for McLeod, who kicks it off the ground. Take away by Presti Giacomo. <laughs> and no one to kick it to. They kick hurriedly, because McLeod closed quickly. Connell. Trying to make up for it. He's a ball-winning machine, Connell. Wren has looked very, very sharp today. Just wobbles that ball inside the centre square. Good hands coming through hard was Robren. Did well to trap it. Kicked off the ground by Eccles. Chance for the Crows. Kinnear put his body on the line. Goodwin goes to ground. Benke's been so dangerous. Court was smart. Davis, sure hands across half back. He's booted three goals as well. Wasley, second grab, not there. And finally forced over the line for a toss back in. 12-5-77 Adelaide. The Pies 8-5-53. It's, it's great to see a free-running game of footy curls. It certainly is, and I, th I think Wren's leaping as high as I've seen him leap for three years. Well, there's been 20 goals kicking the first half of football, and we've still got seven and a half minutes left. Well, Curls, it's good that this time he's coming back from a cheek injury rather than a knee injury. So uh, he's been able to put in a bit of work, no doubt. Yes. There was some publicity earlier in the week about his knee that uh, maybe he did hurt it last week playing for West Adelaide, but he trained so strongly, dispelled any of that thought. Edwards, very clever. Goodwin, another kick. They cannot stop him. Overrun there by Rusciuto. Williams. Hasn't been as damaging near goal today as he was when they first played this season. He kicked five goals against the Crows. Ball at ground level. The umpire's going to come in and ball it up. That day, Collingwood won by 11 points at the MCG. They had just four goal kickers. Williams kicked five. Sabrocker kicked five. Buckley three. Nick and Davis. Michael one. This is Nick Davis off. Nick Graham, Davis. question for you and Kevin. How can a coach be more certain of a win playing defensive football than playing attacking football? Well, Nick Davis right. is off. He's had uh, 12 possession. He's booted three goals. He's just been replaced by Shane Watson. 
Oh, the ball grabbed by Vardy. They're hitting it pretty hard, the Crows. They've had a wonderful second term. Rusciuto, ball on the bounce. Dickens. Biglands loses it, and he's holding it. He won't give the ball off this fella. Well, he had a fair bit of work to do to control it, Kurt. So mm. I think he did well to do that when he found it. He just didn't have time to get rid of it. Mercuria wide for Tarrant, who goes down the line towards centre wing to Buckley. He's had an amazing game. He's had 15. This is kick number 15 for Nathan Buckley, and we've got six minutes to go to half time. And his opponent, though, has been very good too. 17 possessions and five marks, and a goal to Simon Goodwin, Tyson Edwards from centre wing. McLeod looks dangerous, just needs a bounce. Couldn't take it. Presti Giacomo, very handy in defence with Batheris. Backtracks and walks over the line for a boundary throw in. Yeah, it's really interesting that uh, David Gallag is actually going across and picking up Nathan Buckley. Very lucky, that boy. <laughs> well, I don't think so, Kills. McGregor. Outside of 50, it's a hurried kick. Anthony Rocker has to hit it hard. Beaten by Benke. Quick hands. Robram, 35 metres out, hits the post. The skill of Matthew Robram. The uh, ball didn't come easily to him. The one-handed take. Didn't even fumble it. Wrapped it in one hand, dropped it under his boot. Slammed it into the post. And now trots back to centre-half back. Six goals, second quarter to the Crows. Bathiris pops it high. Dangerous kick. Goodwin sees the ball back over the line. Well, he's had a magnificent season, Simon Goodwin. And the big job today, playing on Nathan Buckley. Not really a tagging job, no, but really, I suppose, pitting his own skills against the skills of Nathan Buckley. He's actually got to the half-back flank for the odd run or the odd rest as well. Just over five minutes left in this second term. Oh. Buckley, wild kick by Rusciuto. And Buckley will take the three. The yeah, crowd didn't like it, but uh, he, deserved, he deserved something there. 16 kicks to Nathan Buckley. Wren, ground level. Does well on hands and knees. Rusciuto with that strength this time. Couldn't break the tackle. Tarkin Lockyer started on the bench. Were you surprised at that? Tarkin Lockyer starting on the bench? Well, he was fantastic earlier in the season, Graham. But, of course, uh, I mean, they won their first five games. But they've only won one in the last 11. So one can only suggest that his, his form has tapered off. He's been under siege a bit. He was he was the kick-in man for Collingwood early on. And uh, a few of his kicks have been astray. Just off the bench, that was his first kick. Wren works it to Connell at the back. Here's Lockyer again. Flips it up to Buckley. Savrocker. Bassett in front of him. Oh, well played by the Hound. To Hart. Cross in front of goal. Smart. He's got Robran. Uh, perfect switch by the Crows. There's no one else to go to this. Back into Smart. Now they might go a bit of corridor football. It's pretty good though, isn't it? Johnson. They're outside the 50 and comfortably. And they lead comfortably by 25 points after being down by nine points at quarter time. You would think the breeze is going right to left, but we can assure you it is left to right. The Crows this is have killed them in this term. Short possession football. Eccles pops it up high. A bit of height there with Wren. Oh, oh Binky. what a mark by Binky. How tall would he be, Graham? He's uh, six foot one, perhaps, which is tall, but not by footy standards. Great mark. Open goal square. Thumping kick. McLeod. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're seeing some great highlights of football. Like teeth with that mark of Brian Binkies. He saw the goal square open, and I think he was going for goal, but allowed McLeod and Costa and Biglands. They all wanted to share of it as they're running back. McLeod kept his eye on the ball. There's just Shaw. a little bit to do to convert. Reshaw off. O'Bree back on for the pies. McLeod. He won't miss that. Three goals to Andy McLeod. Oh, we had such a close first quarter and uh, now the game's broken out to a, a five-goal game. But watch Binky there. Kept his eye on the ball, carried it. He sees an open goal. Looking, looking, looking. No one in the goal square. Just watch. Let's go for it. And watch Costa and McLeod running back with the ball. And McLeod got it. <laughs> Great second quarter by the Crows. They've booted seven goals to one. Three goals to Andrew McLeod. Three to Brian Binky. 
They've been the stars up forward and two to Sean Wren. Costa playing in front. Buckley gives it off. Goodwin. Quick hands to Rusciuto. Goes short. McLeod. Rare mistake. Just couldn't handle the ball. That was Buckley's first hand pass a while ago. He won't do it again after that one. Williams to Johnson through the centre square. Penetrating kick. Tarrant caught from behind. Gallagher has been just fantastic, Graham, across half back. He's been really good. He's been really a springboard of attack. Eccles has won a lot of the ball, 11 possessions. Chips it up to Costa. Plenty of run in the legs. The shot carry point. the ball inside 50. Time for think music. Kicks to the square. Big pack of players. Vardy thought he had it and lost it. With strength. Gotcha. McLeod, a bit of magic. Tyson Edwards. High ball, it's one for the brave. <laughs> Finally, punch back over the line. Yeah, Adelaide's confidence sky high at the moment. And Collingwood just looking a bit uh, hassled and harried under pressure. Blood rule. No, the umpire sending Stephen Schwert, the runner away. Goes Stephen by Schwert, 31 the, points. He'd be the most inoffensive runner you could have in the AFL. Kania took the front position and the free. Collingwood have managed just one goal with the breeze in this second term. And Adelaide seven into it. What a performance. Centre wing rocker near the boundary line. Yeah, there's no confidence there. Anthony Rocker under that ball, he just... He's just misjudged he his really, markings. He was, he was today, uncertain he? of the pressure from behind and it was just looked like a token effort. Fraser against Wren. Oh, no, that's... <laughs> Lock you wanted to take advantage. Curls, what do you see down there? No, You're closer. No, no free kick in that encounter. So Fraser pops one over the top to O'Bree, who was benched for a long time. And when he was on earlier on, didn't get a touch. This is his first kick. Not a bad one to Rocker. Gee, he didn't attack yes. the ball, didn't move towards it. Watson the hand pass to Davis. Clever! Just the wrong side of the post. Yeah, Bassett's work on uh, Big Sav Rocker has been tremendous, but as you said, Rocker waiting for the ball to come to him allowed Bassett to spoil. But Davis, who's impressed me so much with his crumbing. Yes, he looks like he's going to be a good player, doesn't he, Leon Davis? He's quick and he's sharp. Just needs some games under his belt. Robran. It's been a good performance by the Crows in the second term. They've looked very, very sharp. They've carried the ball quickly through the centre of the ground. They've got marking power up forward with Sean Wren and Binky, and they've got this magic man, McLeod, playing a great game. McLeod again sets it up inside 50. The bounce favoured. Burns kicked off the ground out of the hands of Dimitina. Michael heads towards the line. And finally taken over by Presti Giacomo. So just under a minute left in this second quarter. 13-684. Adelaide Collingwood 8-6-54. It's amazing today in this modern game of footy how the breeze doesn't seem to influence the game. Well, it hasn't influenced uh, this second quarter. Crows have been very good. They've got the ball, of course, quickly into the forward line curls. And I think you mentioned that before the game, that if you run with the ball and get it quickly into the forward line, sometimes the breeze just doesn't have an effect. Yeah, well, the Collingwood boys used it well early, but they're not handling it well with the breeze. KB, I think we've seen two game plans destroyed in the last two days. Richmond's short passing game yesterday at the MCG and Collingwood's attacking game worked for a while, but gee, it was, you just have to uh, man up and make yourself accountable around the place. Otherwise, a good team like this at home with a crowd behind them, carve you up and they have been. The trouble is their attacking game, though, Drew, it hasn't been carrying the ball deep enough into their forward line. Adelaide's half-back have been able to dominate. Watson gets the hand pass away to Leon Davis. He is quick, leaving scorch marks on the turf to full forward. Rocker, one hand to it. He's got Buckley in support if he can dish it out. Overrun by Buckley, but he's got another chance. Short pass for Anthony. Oh, it's a great, great mark. mark. It's a great mark. Good vision, Buckley. The kick wasn't quite good enough, but uh, Anthony Rocker, desperate, dived, got the hands behind it. Just watch Buckley. Ball's going away from Rocker, but he got his hands behind it, hoping to his chest. Well, Buckley's had the merest of 18 kicks in the first half. And Rocker now lining up for his second goal. Margin is five goals. He can cut it to four after the siren. Distance, not much. He can kick it 65 metres, 
and this is only 30. No problem. Well, that's something for the players to work on when they go into the rooms at half time. It's nice to finish a quarter with a goal after the siren. But in between, didn't they get a hiding from the Crows? From Goodwin, who was interchanging from half-back flank into the middle. Andy McLeod was spectacular. And Brian Benke with three first-half goals and marking everything. Well, Collingwood just dragged themselves back to within four goals. It does set the stage for an interesting last half. But Adelaide really... Collingwood might have spent a little bit of time on uh, Andy Goodwin, who has been fantastic. Curls, what do you reckon? Yeah, that, that's a good point, Drew, because I'm certain... Mick Moldhouse and his boys would have been thinking now, what do we do? Are we going to stay with our pure attacking game or are we going to try and curb the Adelaide's run and scoring? So it'll be interesting to see what just does happen this quarter because Adelaide will continue to attack. No question about that. Can Collingwood stop them? Well, Simon Goodwin, a little bit better looking than Andy Goodwin is uh, true too, with all due respect to the former Melbourne and Richmond player. Exactly. Now, here we go for the second half. Rocker had it going Collingwood's way, but uh, he's chopped off back there, and the ball hurries back, and McLeod was just really damaging in that second quarter. Costa stepped over the ball, missed it. Buckley, second-hand pass for the game. Burns to Williams, back to Burns. Game 100. Kick by Burns, up towards the 50. Hart playing in front, and so Adelaide finish up with the ball. Gallagher to Smart, round the corner. Clever kick. And here is Simon Goodwin again. I don't think they'd have spent much time talking about Andy Goodwin at halftime. <laughs> Simon Goodwin, who had a first half of 18 possessions, up towards half forward. Williams, barreled in Rashudo's tackle. Eccles flips the ball in. Costa. Rashudo, time to set it up. Wren with the height. Michael in trouble. Did well though, Mal Michael. It comes to Costa. Would he kick his second for the day? He has! <laughs> he's hit the post he's hit the poster oh. unfortunately Americans miracles nearly do happen just watch it look for all the world like being a goal yeah well even from that angle it looked like it was a goal too Ben Hart's done a very good job on Chris Tarrant yes he's the consummate defender but he matches up well with his pace and just been able to sort of be right there with Chris Tarrant, who can run opponents off their legs. Dimitina from Buckley. 19 kicks to Buckley. Two handballs to Davis, who booted three goals in the first half. So the Pies share the ball around Buckley to Davis. So it's take two from centre wing. Inside 50, it's a wobbly old kick. Sap caught from behind. Davis looks dangerous, needs a kind bounce, gets it. Should run in and kick a goal. Leon Davis pops it through. Well, he's excited us all day, Leon Davis. It was good work on the out, uh, out of flank, flank by uh, Buckley and Leon Davis. Sorry, Mick Davis. Now he's searching for the contest here for Big Sav Rocker. Comes to ground and Leon Davis controlling it. Sees he's got space, runs his full 10 or 15 metres, drews it. See a lot more of this young fellow, I'm sure. An important goal for Collingwood to start this second half. Getting the first goal, they need a bit of a rush in this third term. Connell's hand pass is knocked down, intercepted. Dimitina, not a great kick to the forward line. Clean bowls Bassett. Robren back there, trouble at boot level. Bowled over by Josh Fraser. Under pressure, the Crows' defence. Collingwood working hard. Tarrant the hand pass. Ball pinned to Johnson. And Johnson and Johnson. A bit of Johnson and Johnson there. A bit of uh, Essendon revisited. This Adelaide hasn't used their bench much at all. Uh, James there with Caven and also Vardy and Crowell. Peter a chance had, for the Pies. Peter Vardy's had a quick run, but uh, the other three have not bothered the scorers at all. Is that normal for Gary Ayers not to use the interchange bench much, Graham? Uh, well, some players do spend a bit of time there. He, he doesn't go overboard. When they're leading. But they're, but they're playing so well, I guess yeah. he's probably thought, why change it? That first goal to the Pies, very important one. Yeah. Just get the feeling the confidence is lifted. Davis tried to find Burns. Feeds the ball back. Johnson does well. Some fancy footwork. Kicks to the square. Bassett will mark. Play on. It was touched. Short kick. Finds Goodwin. 
who was an absolute star in that first half. 19 possessions and seven marks. Also kicked a great goal. So he's had a great duel with Nathan Buckley. He's won a lot of the ball himself. It's 22 a very dangerous, possessions. Dangerous kick by Simon Goodwin there. He's trying to set up the switch play, but all he's really done is drive uh, Tyson Edwards back. They've locked him in. Goal point. They've locked him in, yeah. The, the centre square's been good, hasn't it, with uh, Tyson Edwards. Also, Rusciuto in there and McLeod. It's been very exactly. powerful today for the Crows. Johnson, hands and knees with strength. Tried to shovel the ball out. Does well. Hands and knees to Goodwin. Who else? Just bangs the ball back towards centre wing. Kania will be happy to just take this ball back over the line in front of McGregor. Adelaide's back in. Adelaide were, were good, particularly in the second uh, quarter, but it's only a 19 point ball game. Shane Watson, James was the reshore who was excellent in the first half. And Tark and Lockyer on the Collingwood bench. Throw in centre wing, worked down by Anthony Rocker to Heath Scotland. Well, oh, poor hand pass. He's given it straight up. And the worst bloke he could have given it to, McLeod. Great pass. Benke not this time. Rusciuto just inside the 50. McLeod, well, he gave the hand pass and it hit the back of a Collingwood player. Bounces to O'Bree. Buckley at full stretch. And he wants it back from Davis. He's run on Nathan Buckley. This looks all right for the Pies. He's got Dimitina or Buckley. Dimitina just starting his career. Took a week to pick it up. Now to the goal square. Tarrant is there. And Fraser punched to the front. Johnson for the Crows, though. And all that came to nothing for Collingwood. Might have been better had it been with Buckley rather than Dimitina back on the outer side. Connell just gets the kick in in time. Sensational by Connell to Eccles. Unguarded at centre wing. Rusciuto. And what looked like being a Collingwood goal at one end might be a Crows goal at the other. To Wren. Yes. Just unfortunately, it was Andrew Dimitina who couldn't control the ball quickly enough on the outer flank. And by the time he did, the Crows defenders able to close the Collingwood forward line players down and rebounded so well. And he's a beautiful kick for goal, this big fella. A lot of people, because he spent most of his career in the fence, they don't know of his goal kicking ability. Going for his third for the day. Well called, Curls. It's about. Yeah, that guy in the car. Is about... Which one? That first encounter. Can you just pull over? It's about sexual attraction. Not my time. Get over it, okay? Seven's new hit, Street Mate. That you're desperate. Yeah. Tonight at 7.30. Tonight on 7. Hey, baby. You want to come over for some of my hot... Greg's playing naughty games. That's not me. Whoops. Hold the phone. Hello, Mother. Tonight, 8 o'clock on 7. Man on screen in his comeback game has booted three goals. Sean Wren through also to Andrew McLeod and Brian Benke. A lead by 25 points. Biglands got a mighty leap. Scotland's been handy for the Pies. O'Brien just trying to lift his rating. Buckley has been magnificent again today. This one just tumbles forward. They need a good kind bounce. Sam taps it on. Tarrant closing quickly. Can't get his boot to the ball. Rotran keeps the ball alive. Davis, danger. Some quick footwork. Back to Big Sav. Feeds it off. Johnson, quick snap. Through for a behind. Actually, you, uh, some fantastic work by Bassett Curls. Exactly, but uh, the Crows needed that goal from him because Collingwood yeah. are not out of this game. They're, 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 they're yeah, watching very hard. Watch Bassett dive on this ball. Just got the left hand to it, raked it back. It was a certain goal to Collingwood. Tarrant just got a bad bounce then, didn't he? It just sort of went right on him. This is the last moment. Oh. This can set it up. O'Brien will run in and bang it through. He's got it. Well, that's the way to hurt a team. Try to chip it around for defence. Find the player short with a short kick. For the kick's inaccurate. And Simon O'Brien, who's had a pretty good season. I mean, he's 13th in the league's list of disposals, so he's getting plenty of the ball. Uh, pounced on that. And he saw the goals. It wasn't a convincing kick. It went way to his left. But it's a goal. And they're back to uh, 18 points. Well, 
Well, Collingwood right in this contest again, trailing by just three straight kicks. Anthony Rocker in the middle, beaten by Biglands. It spills to Costa. Costa's kick in the direction of Benke over his head. Kinnear back there on all fours. It's flipped up to O'Brien, the goal scorer for the Pies. Towards the boundary line, he gains about 40 metres and a throw in. Well, it's important that he lifts his rating because he's, he's only had the five possessions. He's been averaging 23 possessions this year. Yeah. O'Brien, he was off the ground early, wasn't he? Graham, he's just surprising. Uh, like, obviously, it was a midfield matchup that Mick Malthouse wasn't happy with, but somebody who gathers the ball as much as he does, surprising to have him on the bench. Ball clears the Ruckman's heads. Davis gives chase, but Smart gets there first. Oh, good spoil by Mal Michael. It comes to the front to Williams. Out into open spaces, and he says to his teammate Wosley, just get after that. Now, Kevin, you're on the rules review committee. Is that the sort of kick that they're looking at for next year, the delivered out of bounds? Well, I don't think there was anything wrong with that. I mean, he kicked it a fair way. We've got an open oh, ball, Graham. He, I know, but he was, uh, his intention was to get out of bounds, don't you think? No, he was kicking it to space. He was waiting for one of his teammates to run onto the ball. <laughs> but is the rules review co committee looking at it? Not to my knowledge. Batheris. Down goes Rashudo. Look at the numbers for the Crows. Ball is flipped forward, and away they go through Welsh. Kick. Oh, fantastic. Hands. And Benke, another mark. This bloke's taken five marks, all in the forward 50, I reckon. Well, oh, watch the kick. Just watch the kick and the hands. Not much Simon Preston Gio can do about that. And Brian Binky, who will slip under opponent's guards unless they pay him due respect, is a beautiful kick of the ball as well. This for goal number four. But darling, I haven't stopped thinking about you. Distracted? I think about you all the time. There's no one else. You're the only one. The only one I think about. Six, one drive, and you hold. Mitsubishi. Well, he looks pretty sharp today, Brian Binky. He's booted four goals, one in the first quarter, two in the second, and now one in this third term. Mercuria had it and lost it. Kicked off the ground by Eccles. Dimitina wins the hard ball in the centre square. Just wobbles it back towards centre half forward. Tarrant, great on the hands. Wosley will feed it off. Oh. Just didn't hit his target. Big Sav. This will lift his confidence. Can he kick a goal? I reckon he's kicked this. He's got it. Well, the silence told the story, but James Wosley, his pace can be electrifying. It was good work out of the centre by Collingwood. Make no mistake about Tarrant. Quick hands. Wosley sees space, comes inside, but uh, the handball didn't find Rocker. Just had time to steady. Got the ball across his boot. And again, Collingwood will not go away. They've just posted the crowd, KB. 40,171. Not a bad crowd. Well, they're giving plenty of voice to the Adelaide Crows. 97 to 79. Collingwood won't go away. Dimitina starting to have an influence in that centre square. Cop one in the back that That's time was bad. Williams. Wasn't paid. Connell on hands and knees. Uh, Gee, umpire, umpire number 27, uh, Michael Avon. That it's pretty obvious in the back. Definite free kick for Williams there. Well, here's the crowd cheering for Peter Caven, who's about to get his first run today in just his third game for the season. Forward go the Crows. Benke. Been too good for a couple of opponents. Kinnear back to Michael. Floats the hand pass. That's good. O'Brien getting into the game in this third quarter. 97 plays 79. Shane O'Brien, who was the first pick in the preseason draft, did all the preseason training with Collingwood. The ball punched away and out of bounds. Now, one of the significant statistics in the first half with the, this term hard ball gets, and Adelaide had twice as many of those hard ball gets in the first half. You suspect that uh, Collingwood have really lifted their effort in that regard in this quarter. Rocker. Beaten by Biglands. That's perfect by Biglands to Smart. Oh! Phenomenal mark by McGregor. Oh, he's got good hands too. And that was the classic check side ruck play where you put it down. What's it? Biglands to, Mar to Nigel Smart. He's facing the goal. All he has to do is drop it on his boot. 
And whenever a person kicks around the corner, which you often get from boundary throw-ins and ball-ups, you must play in front because the trajectory of the ball will always drop short. Robin off for Caven. Particularly one of those windmill ones, Kev, you know, those Well, that's ge they, generally, they generally kick them, don't they, Graham, yeah. around the corner, and you must play in front. So McGregor hasn't really joined in the picnic too much today, and that's not a great kick, and hits the post. He yeah, carried the pack, though, but hit the post. And Kenny knows he didn't hit it well. That was like an overhead smash that hit the frame of the racket. Two posters this quarter to the Adelaide Crows, one to Kim Costa, one to Ken McGregor. 98 plays, 79. They lead by 19 points, Adelaide, Buckley. This is kick number 22. The Collingwood don't want Buckley getting kicks back there. Possession right? number 25, dangerous kick. Davis, very good in the first half. Just spent some time on the bench. He booted three goals, two from half back, and there's Hart. Been a major player, would have paid the mark. Wosley is quick, super quick. Pumps the ball back inside 50. It's a big play for the Pies. Rocker, the juggler, had it, lost it. Coming through strongly. Great play. Johnson took it from Smart. Bassett was involved as well. Eccles shovels the ball out wide. The run of Edwards through the centre square. Benke's the target. He's booted for Davis. Cool under pressure to Giacomo. Presti gives it across. Taken by Buckley. Sam couldn't take it on the second grab. Was it a push out? No free. Hard under pressure. Big play for Collingwood. Can they hold up the Crows across half back? Numbers win out. Bassett wants to feed the ball off to Hart, who's going to give him some space. Davis the chaser. Eccles draws the opponent. Hart comes all the way down from Hart. Half back to Rusciuto. If he can get a clean bounce, he's going to have a pot shot. Caught in the pocket. Squeezed up. Goodwood's going to run into the open goal. Caught. Loose ball. Kicked up the ground by oh. Wren. Saved on the line by the Pies. O'Bree brings it away, heads for the line, goes wide. Great defensive play in the end and a great build-up by plenty of run from the Adelaide Crows. Now, right. Cornsey, that is a kick for the line. Would you penalise that one? Well, he's see, the intention is to kick it out of bounds. I know it's a great kick, but his intention is to kick it out of bounds under the letter of the Been law. 60 metres. He still <laughs> tried to kick it out of bounds. O'Bree really getting amongst it. Well, he didn't try to kick that out of bounds on the full, he did. No, uh, that was pressure. Well, O'Brien in the first half, but he had a touch. Now he's up to eight possessions. He's a tough man, Graham, isn't he? Yeah. <laughs> Kicked at 60 <laughs> metres. Eccles, that's a poor old kick. Anthony. Oh, he's had to grab two and hasn't. Oh, that's Kinnear. Michael's kick into the bread basket of McLeod. And his shot is away to the right. Actually, Kevin, it would be interesting to know what the umpire's instructions are in that situation. Well, if they force the ball forward, Curls, uh, the umpires will give the benefit of the doubt to the player. But in that particular case, I think if you kick the ball 50 metres into space, I mean, we're playing with an oval ball, I think it's fair to say that uh, you wouldn't be penalising a player for that. I think those long ones are OK, but the shorter ones. How short? 20 metres. Rocker sets himself in front. Big Lens, good defensive punch. Good hands by Dimitina. He's had a good third term. This is where they want Buckley He's with had the ball. He's ten times Buckley now on the charge. Dangerous. Loves to take him on. Backs himself in. Long bomb. Tarrant looks dangerous. Rocker's there. Can't take it. Bassett. Wild handball. Burns. Gets support. Shaw had it. Lost it. The juggler was Connell. Sets it up. Loose play up. Goodwin. He's been great again today. 21 possessions. Seven marks. Driving kick towards 50, Rusciuto. And this is a big difference. Collingwood not able to take the marks in their forward line. Adelaide indeed able to. Well, Sav's only taken one mark for the day, and that was in about the first minute when he marked his brother's kick. Big one's off, Robin on. McGregor sets it up to Goodwin. Stands on 50 and delivers to the square. Oh. Welsh. Yes, he always had the sit. He was always in control then, despite the Collingwood players coming batting at him. And Goodwin stopped just always. Scotty Welsh had it in his sights, and Paul Acuria not able to get back. Well, he's been a great pickup. He's kicked 41 goals for the season. Got his first of the day. Well, I always thought that you had to take your new car back to the dealer to get it serviced. But this friend of mine said that she gets her serviced at Ultratune. 
They use all of the right parts and the price is fixed. Hey, they sound pretty good to me. Back in the middle and the Crows have hit the ton. 16-9 to 12 goals, seven. In the middle, Robbins hand pass out to Eccles, off to Hart, deep into the forward line. Ren, oh, good mark! Oh, that is something special. Was that a throw out of the centre square, Drew? Correct. I think it was a throw. Yeah. Crow's throw. Yes. Well, you know, the Crow's throw is actually a very quick handball, Kills. Yes, there's, there's, this there's was a, very quick with one difference. hand. <laughs> Graham, Graham, not your fibs. Sean Wren to join Benke on four goals for the day. Across the face of goal and through for a minor score. Now, look, I'm not suggesting that wasn't a throw, but uh, we had some... Uh, let's, just watch, let's have a look at it here. Look at in replay. Matthew Robbin. Look at that. Whoa. Did flick he flick pass? Yeah. Oh, flick pass. That's yeah. a throw by any definition. Did, he, did, he, did his fist make contact? <laughs> I think only an Adelaide supporter would suggest that, Graham. <laughs> Dimitina, who's been very good since he came onto the ground. Yeah. This is possession number 12. Towering kick out towards the centre wing. Goodwin to Johnson. Two young guns combined. Going to ground was McLeod. You heard the U's and the R's from the crowd. Lecuria pumps the ball back to the edge of the centre square. They can raffle it. Bingo. Lucky number 10. Robren. A transfer play to Smart. Sets it up to Connell. Does well. Great presence of mind. Just belts it back towards centre half forward. Binky stood his ground. A rare mistake. McGregor. Handy player to Binky. Goal number five. Yeah. If the spark's gone out of your life and your relationship, maybe it's time for you to get healthy. The Sunday Mail and Advertiser present Healthy Living, a seven-part magazine with a wide range of topics to help you and your loved one lead a healthy and balanced lifestyle. From eating for life to personal health and beauty. So get your life, your health and your relationship back on track. Get Healthy Living in the Advertiser all this week. His fifth goal. Fraser ready to come back on for Collingwood. And Robin, of course, is giving the Crows a very good field playing person. Back in the middle, and Robin in ruck, but taken by Dimitina to Buckley. Buckley, 25 kicks. Smart in front for the crumbs. Back to Bassett. He goes wide to Connell. We've got just under six minutes to three quarter time. And the Crows have certainly taken charge. Gallagher unmarked. His kick to McGregor at half forward. Worked under it by Kinnear. Well done by Michael. Kinnear into Davis. Nick Davis off the left. To centre half forward. Tarrant. Oh, pulled oh, off. Oh, free, free kick. Free kick. Up free kick. Yeah, yeah, yes. Gee whiz. Now, David. Leon Davis has got it. Wasley now. Nobody will catch him. Wasley. Oh. Might have caught him, but he still didn't kick the goal. Well, I'm surprised. I'm surprised with a player who is as quick as what James Wosley is. He should just have ran all the way into goal then and just kicked it through. Now there's an easy free kick that was missed. Anthony Rocker off. Fraser on. Just very quickly, only three Collingwood players are double figures in kicks. Johnson's had 10, Nick Davis 14, and Buckley 25. So a wasted opportunity there by James Wosley. Tyson Edwards finds Robin too far out the score. The run of Costa into space. Wren looks dangerous in the square. He's going to set up the Johnson. He conceded ground. He's opened up nicely, though. Prosciutto has marked. He'll be shooting from 60 metres. Uh, you'd say that's indirect, but they've worked it around the 50-metre arc, and they've got it to the shooter who well, can make the distance if he, if he gets under one of his big kicks. Well, here we go again. This is take two. They're playing oh. keepings off. What do you say about that one, Graham? Oh, well. <laughs> and there's Wren. They oh, could have gone through well. five minutes ago. <laughs> O'Brien from half back kicks long and wide. Wasley oh. couldn't take it. Connell 
Kicks a high ball, it's one for the Brave. McGregor sets himself. Anita Crummer Costa works his way through the pack to Gallagher. Impressive young player today with great vision. Finds Eccles. Gee, I've got to make a point. I've got to say that um, I think the umpires are missing quite a few obvious free kicks here. Yes, and you'd say Collingwood would probably have had the worst end of it uh, too. I think so. But Adelaide's throwing Gee, that the must ball be around. really bad if we've got Curls and Graham conceding that Collingwood's getting the worst end of the umpire. I just, well, we, do, uh, we do like to be fair. I just realised this going direct to Melbourne. <laughs> <laughs> Eccles. He'll be shooting from 35 metres. They lead by 32 points. This to extend it to 38. Seven invites you on a journey Runner. into fatherhood. That is my son. No, 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 no. He's bringing his son home. The young man is whizzing on the exit door. And the big city is going to get... What's Matika? A little savage. Ah! Martin Short. He's doing a favourite. No, no, no. Tim Allen. Oh, oh, no. Toyota presents Jungle to Jungle. Okay. Premiering tonight, 8.30 on 7. Williams off for Watson. Yes, yeah, Williams, Williams, Williams coming off the well, He might be having a quick chat to the coach and he may be back fairly shortly. Yeah, Eccles is surprised to see Williams go off. Eccles is, is his opponent, though, and that's probably why the uh, change is made. I'll be surprised if Watson doesn't go and pick up Eccles. Uh, he's telling somebody to go and stand Eccles. Leon Davis. Williams no, today. James Wozley. James Wozley onto Eccles. Williams, eight kicks, ten hand passes. It comes to Gallagher, who has been very good. Away to Robren, who is quite early and starting to get kicks now. Benke from the back, not quite. Adelaide in numbers, O'Brie, where Angels fear to tread. Michael, not a bad kick by Michael. He spotted the man way out in the open. Tarkin Lockyer, up to half forward. Tarrant, Caven with him, and Peter Caven. Almost a forgotten man in this Adelaide lineup. Well, he injured, his, he injured his back in a car accident at the start of the year. Good spoil. That's where good defenders have to be. He knows how to defend that boy. He does a very good job in that situation. He's played a fair bit of football with Sturt as he's coming back, proving his fitness. And the last couple of weeks he's come in and uh, just picked up where he left off. 134 games in his career, but just three this year. Two premierships, though, Drew. That's yeah. a significant thing. Two oh, premierships. Yes. Ball worked out towards Robran. Going back in possession. Gallagher working in a short, in a confined space. Goodwin's kick towards centre wing. Down goes Davis. Ball spins like a top. Dimitina back to Davis. He turned the wrong way eventually and will turn it up. Costa. Connell. Robran. Kick by Robran to a contest. Wren couldn't mark. Burns. Watson who just replaced Williams. Wosley through the middle. Kick by oh, Clever to Buckley. That was good vision by Wozley. Yeah, it, wasn't a, it, it didn't look a great kick, but it was clever. He saw it. He just got boots of ball, got it up, cleared the uh, Crows defender. Buckley had plenty of space. What? Just just had to get it in the air. I don't like to tell a great player like Nathan Buckley where to get his kicks, but this is the area where he's going to hurt the opposition from just past midfield up in that half forward line. Yeah, take a good kick into this slight breeze, though. Oh, he'll kick this. Right, no but he's kicked one goal three today Nathan Buckley interesting stat marks in the forward 50 crows 20 to 11 that doesn't surprise and in the yeah. back 50 Collingwood 22 to 9 well Wosley did well he got to the contest he's got a lot of ability James Wosley hasn't he and he's got tremendous acceleration and I think they picked him because of his pace there's no doubt about it he's taken a little while to to cement a spot uh, if he has, I mean, just just uh, 21 games, having made his debut in 1998. Crows come forward. Rusciuto, Lecuria marks Good inside point. the well centre played. square. I like the look of him. And does uh, does well and takes on McLeod. Just pops it high. It's not such a good kick. It'll take a good mark. Davis did well to Davis. <laughs> Davis <laughs> to Davis. It's good bounce. Saved on the line. Hard. Doesn't take it over. Connell just keeps on winning the ball. It's a ball-winning machine. 24 possessions and six marks to Connell. Ball kick back. Buckley. What a game he's played for Collingwood. 
30 possessions to Nathan Buckley. To O'Brien, short, finds Davis, who marks the spot. 20 seconds left. A goal well, here to the Pies would be a bit handy. Well, he's kicked three goals, all coming in the first quarter. Matty Connell's had so much of the ball, but uh, he does have his critics, and those critics will see the, the amount of times he turns it over, that kick he found Nathan Buckley's one of those. He's just too far out, this boy. They trail by 37 points. The siren sounds. It's going right to the line. Through for a behind. Well, a terrific quarter. There's been 30 goals kicked in this game, but at halftime, the Crows 18-10-118 to Collingwood's 12-10-82. Showed a lot of spirit and fight then, the Magpies. With Daryl Hart. Thank you, Drew Wall. Darrell, a lot of people doesn't quite realise how important this quarter is coming up. Oh, look, there's a very we've still got to win the game. You know, the boys have played well and recovered from a bit of a slow start again, but uh, we need to kick as many goals as we can and, and really ram home the advantage because the work, the percentages are obviously going to be closer at the end of the year. Matty Robbins giving you a bit more power around the ground as a field player. Yeah, he just struggled again a little bit to half back, but his, his performance in the ruck then was excellent, and Rhett did the job and maybe softened him up a bit, and Matthew's able to take advantage of that. Well, that's how there's a job for you. Well done. Thanks, Curls. Gee, I want to get that drink. That, that, that razor blade drink, it's a beauty. Works well with Daryl Hart. It's <laughs> a beauty. I'll tell you what, though, he'll tell you as it is. He's, um, he's very forthright as Daryl Hart, and a lot of people regard him highly as a potential AFL coach. Probably suffers a little bit for lack of exposure outside of South Australia, but had a pretty good apprenticeship under Malcolm Blight and now Gary Ayres. A very solid player, very strict. Uh, had a high work ethic himself when he was playing, fitness fanatic. Well, Anthony Rocker's going to start the last quarter on the bench. Big Sav still out there, but Sav really needs to take some marks if the ball comes down. Yeah, what, we're seeing again, what we're seeing again, boys, the fact that you know, the two Rocker boys, once again, have not contributed greatly to their team's cause. The other surprising one, did I see Nick Davis going to the, uh, to the bench there? Well, there he is stretching, and I think he's had a pretty good game, Kevin. Well, the start of the last quarter at Football Park in front of 40,000 fans. 18-10-118, the Crows. The Pies 12-10-82 as Fraser tries to force the ball forward. McLeod's been good today. Robran, hurried kick back towards centre-half forward. O'Brien struggled for most of the game. Certainly lifted his ratings in that third term. Welsh just weaves his way out of trouble. Goodwin has been magnificent. This kick's a wild kick into the pocket. Mel Michael oh. tries to take a one-hander. Finally, the ball's put straight back over the line. And very lucky, Kania wasn't pinged. What about that one, KB? Yes, I would think. Let's have a look at this one. I think this one, girls, <laughs> would have to oh. say that that one was deliberate. His teammate was in his vision, though. Perhaps that does deserve the benefit. You're a kind man, Graham. Oh, well, well, Adelaide's in front. <laughs> no Bree. Sees the ball over the line with McLeod. It's again those hard balls to, uh, tell the story. Adelaide to, leading quite uh, hey, Graham. definitely in that. Andrew Crow warming up. Yes, Curls. Keep, keep an eye on McGregor because I think he's uh, carrying a leg. He's limping. Yeah, I think that might be why Andrew uh, Crowell is warming up. Knocked away from goal by Wren. Edwards with toe. Tyson Edwards. Great goal. Magnificent. Tyson Edwards has got fantastic balance. Perhaps an underrated player. He's had a magnificent year for Adelaide. What's the ruck contest? Red knows exactly where it's going. Shepherd there by Welsh, but he doesn't lose his balance. Stretches the back, comes back inside. Always had the goals in his side. Always knew what he wanted to do with it. The curls is right. McGregor off, trail on. There's McGregor off. He's got a knee in the bottom. <laughs> uh, true, that's correct. He's got a knee in the uh, in yeah, the bottom. Why would I laugh? In the buttocks. Crowell's on. His first run today. Rashudo. What a season he's had along with Goodwin. And also Tyson Edwards. And McLeod. 55 metres out. Unloads to the square. Danger here for Collingwood. Paddling the ball along. Welsh. Squeezed up on the line. Keeps it alive. O'Brien. Quick hands to Scotland, Heath Scotland. He's been handy across half-back, a young player. Here's Buckley. 
has been the star for the Pies again today in front, Tarrant. He's really struggled to get away from Ben Hart and also Peter Caven today. How many marks that, KB? That's five marks to Tarrant. You've lost your money. I suggested he might take 15 marks today. Davis for Collingwood. Kicks a goal. Davis gets his second goal. So Nick Davis has kicked three and Leon two. Margin back to six goals as it was at three quarter time. McLeod to Edwards. Rusciuto stumbling. An intercept here by Dimitina. Wosley. Straight to full forward. Rocker underneath the ball. Now Sav gives chase. Got a chance too. Crows back there in numbers, though. Gallagher, good. Bit slick for uh, Caven. Bassett. Led with the elbow. Goodwin wide to Smart. Crowell just on the ground. He spent over three quarters on the bench. It's been turned over. Burns, long kick to the full forward line. Punch out by Caven. Rocker the first to give chase with Watson. Take it. Hart, Watson tackles, but the Crows come out of it. Johnson, Kane Johnson clears from the 50 to centre wing, and Edwards in a mile of space. Danger for the Pies, because Edwards uses the ball so well to McLeod. He's on the edge of the centre square. He'll go wide. There's the one-two back to Tyson Edwards to the square. Welsh looks dangerous. Couldn't take it. Benke, he's booted five goals. Welsh. Good hands from the pocket. Can't bend it back. Through for a behind. Gee, he tried to bend it back. He knew exactly what he was doing. His take of the ball was so sure. But that attacking thrust for Adelaide set up by a magnificent kick from defence by Kane Johnson. Burns Kane off. Jump. Anthony Rocker back on. Correct. Be a disappointing way for Scott Burns to finish his 100th if he's on the bench. 13 possessions. And, of course, the Seagulls have flown in. I think there's been some good signs here today for Collingwood. I like Reece Shaw, young Ben Johnson, Nick Davis, Leon Davis. Dimitina has been good since coming off the bench. James Wosley, some young players. A bit of talent at Collingwood. They just need a bit of time. They've been pretty competitive today. These, seen, these Kevin Sheedy Seagulls? Never seen so many Seagulls. Young man from Eltham. Pumps the ball back. Ran in front. Presti Giacomo did well. It was a strong punch away. Costa pounced on it. Gallagher, so good today, on 50, stands his ground, some fancy footwork. Williams wants a free. He'll get a ball up. Just gets a bit confused, that young Gallagher, in tight situations. He just uh, has to learn to give the ball first time, Curls. Yes, well, he, I think he comes from, where's he come from? <laughs> he comes from Clayton in Victoria. He's suggesting Victorians don't give it first time, Curls. Christy Giacomo, Eccles, shares the ball around. Rusciuto with strength, Dimitina equal to the task. Eccles, Fraser the tackler, loose oh, ball, Gallagher. They'll share it around Tyson Edwards, the danger man, 45 metres out. Bangs it through. Do you want to go to a really humongous party? Coca-Cola is giving away 90,000 tickets nationally to Rentfest, their Olympic opening ceremony parties in five capital cities. Catch the action on this. Plus, you'll see bands, pro skateboarding, celebrity basketball. Check those plays. DJs, dance tents and way more. Be first to send in 15 Coca-Cola tokens to get your ticket. But hurry, there are limited tickets to Redfest and they'll go as fast as an ice cold Coke on a hot, hot day. Hit Redfest for more and enjoy. Well, it's a huge task now for Collingwood. And Robren wins to McLeod. The slippery eel gets through. McLeod's pass kept low. Welsh is there. But Bathiris to O'Brien. Michael. 
out into the Seagulls and Heath Scotland. Gee, they are persistent, those Seagulls. Amazing. Williams. In he goes to Lecuria. Neon Leon Davis. Anthony back on. Good mark and playing on quickly. That's terrific to Williams. Now, Sam, take it. Well, he just hasn't been able to catch the ball since the opening minute. Good hand oh, pass, though, to Buckley. Four off the left. Davis had followed up. Top oh, goal. Well done. Well, it hit. It's lifetime health cover. For me, it's all so simple. Oh, no, not that out again. You get lifetime health cover? No, I never got around to it. No, I did. No, why I was paying a loading. I take care of myself pretty good. Guess I missed out. No, not yet. We'd better get a move on. What'd you do? Went with Medibank. Couldn't find a better deal. Hey, How'd you work that out? Watch the ad. We made the call. I feel better now. The Pies drag it back to a 37-point ball game. 131 to 94. Just over 14 and a half minutes left in this final term. McLeod. Been so good today. Dimitina been impressive. Connell inside the centre square just belts the ball back towards centre half forward. Batheris had it and lost it. Pulled off the ball as Lockyer. Now advantage has been paid. Kinnear comes away from half back. Rocker couldn't quite make enough ground. Take two. Quick snap around the corner. Off target. Gee, fellas, from behind. We see it every week, but gee, don't you admire the work rate of Buckley? He just goes up and down this ground. As if he's an engine. 33 possessions today. Curls, 29 kicks, four handballs, and he's seven marks, one goal, three. Up towards centre wing. Wasley and the ball over the boundary line. And we'll have a throw in. But look who's backing him up there. Buckley again. He just covers so much ground. There's been some big possession winners today. 26 possessions to Connell, 26 to Tyson Edwards, 31 to Simon Goodwin, and Rusciuto, 25. Watson just inside the line, forward of the wing. At the back, Bassett. Edwards at halfback. He's kicked a couple of goals, so he's all over the park as well in this turn. Gee, is this wide open? Gallagher. Connell. Well, you call him a ball magnus. A ball magnus. A ball magnus. 23rd kick coming up for Matt Connell. Two stutter in him. Just stutters. Cozy gets the ball. Short of half forward. And well done by Crowell. Good lead. Fresh man sat down for three quarters. Kick by Crowell. He could nearly knock a bird out of the air. <laughs> like the day John Inverarity was batting over in Adelaide. Comes to Welsh. Ball bounces in the goal square. And across the face of goal and out of bounds. That happened to be a swallow. Yeah, what is it with Adelaide sporting events and birds? A lot of good birds in Adelaide. Mm, yeah, one invaded one of our grand finals, Helen D'Amico. She thinks she's South Australian. <laughs> Wren just took it out of the ruck contest. The theorist just bundled over the line by Welsh. Yes, yeah, so well, Wayne Johnson sent her on her way, as, as I recall. Goes by six goals, 20 goals, 11 to 14, 11. 12 and a half minutes left in the game. Smart came through hard. Welsh, it was a look away handball. Wren, been terrific in his comeback game today. Spent the three goals, going to ground was Smart. Yeah, the crowd wanting in the back and uh, Collingwood players looking for holding the ball. Sensible umpiring though. Wren just try to feed it out. Dimitina has worked very hard in close to Batheris. To Wosley, and we know he can run. He's a ball carrier. To the centre wing. Beautiful kick to the half forward line. Unfortunately, Tarrant went to ground. Bassett has been very good today at full back. Buckley, can he take him on? Crunched into the ground. There was no free. Numbers went out. Goodwin. Johnson squeezed up on the boundary line. Rock with a tackler, and he'll take the free kick. Well, I think he's given it to Kane Johnson. The umpire said it was a bit too vigorous. There hasn't been many frees paid today. Johnson from half back. 
Getting good distance. Wonderful roving by Rashudo. It's a poor kick inside 50. Great hands by McLeod. A one grab player. Welsh stands and delivers. Now Michael gets back. Poor football there. He had players with better options than that. What about McLeod's hands? Great hands. Sensational. Good players don't fumble. O'Bree no, still deep in the back pocket. Andrew McLeod, though, Kevin, even if the ball's low, he just takes it so beautifully. Still six goals the margin. Two goals each in this last term. And Collingwood haven't been able to improve on their situation. O'Bree and Bathyrus share the ball. Outside defensive 50, Rupert Bathyrus. Up towards Buckley at half forward. Goodwin with him. Well, Goodwin and Buckley have both dominated. Probably both their best players, respectively. Caven. Kicked by Caven. On the bounce to Costa. Back over his shoulder. Ren with the height. Oh. And the juggle. <laughs> it was stolen by Michael. Ren's oh, mark. Oh, gee, now Michael's not happy with that. Ren, he seemed to control it, but at the last minute, just watching him replay, has first, second and third. Mm. Well, Kevin. he certainly didn't control the mark didn't control no. it. Yeah, it was Nestle, it was about to nestle in his chest and Mal Michael grabbed it. So Ren for goal. This for his fourth. And it should lock it away. Now in Sydney today it was a milestone for the captain courageous Paul Kelly as the Swans defeated the West Coast Eagles. And did they celebrate on Paul Kelly's milestone? Well, look, I'd just like to say on behalf of everyone that's come to the SCG today, 20,000 people come to the SCG. Everyone appreciates the way you play the game, Kel. The players all today were outstanding, and I guess the fact that they won by so much shows you how much they love you as a player, love you as a bloke, and it was a pleasure for me to be able to play with you. And on behalf of everyone here today, fantastic effort, Kel. Well done. Thanks very much, Richard. Thank you. Two hundred games for Paul Kelly and a huge win over the West Coast Eagles. Crows by forty-two points. Dimitina to Davis. A couple of young players making their mark today for the Pies. And so is James Wosley. Usually from Adelaide, loves to take him on. He's got great pace. Looks a player of the future. Love the way he carries the ball forward. Bassett. Well, he's been really unbeatable today across that full back line. Taken away by Rashudo. Thumping kick out wide. Beautiful kick, taking the bounce was Eccles. Goes short, looking for Benke. It's been the big match winner up forward with five goals. Prestige Como under pressure. Dimitina has to work his way out of trouble. Can't hit his target and Tarkin Lockyer. Boundary throw in. Welch off for Vardy. Yeah, Peter Vardy has not had much to do today. And this is his third poor game in a row, Graham. Uh, is it poor or he just hasn't had an opportunity, Kills? No, he didn't do much when he was on there. Rocker's coming off to the Collingwood. That's uh, Sav. Sav Rocker. Wren just sharing the ball around with Eccles. Back to Tyson Edwards. Such a dangerous player. It's one for the brave in the square. Prestige Como pulled off the ball. Finally forced through for a behind. Yeah, just look like Adelaide's run is just starting to tell. They've had a really solid week on the track. Gary Ayres. Loves to work them hard, lots of competitive work, and it's shown its advantages and benefits today. Well, Sav Rocker was getting some hooting there. Nowhere to go. Had a disappointing day. One mark, three kicks, and two oh, goals for grab. Sav Rocker. But that's a good mark to Anthony Rocker, who started the last quarter on the bench. Not a great kick. Didn't quite reach Buckley. Now he's got his work cut out. Dragged to the ground. That's a Kevin Bartlett-type hand pass. The ball still in. gets over still the line. In. Well, it hit the line, didn't get over the line. It's got to be fully over the line. Yeah, correct. So, Robren. And, ba and Buckley had nobody in front of himself. And so he was probably looking for the line, just didn't quite reach it. Down the other end it goes to Hart. Inside the 50 to Wren. Michael's had a tough job since he went back there. Here's M McLeod. Whoa, here come the Repco Big League Legends. Racing effects car mats, four colours available, only $25.95 a set. Seat covers, $27.95 a pair. Formula 2001 protected, scratch and swirl remover and express shine polish, $7.95 each. CRC 556, cleans, lubricates and protects, just $5.99.
Mobile Synth S15W50 Synthetic Motor Oil. Five litres, only $22.95. Legendary brands at legendary prices. Available at all Repco stores. Goes by 49 points. The roar goes around Football Park. Eight minutes of action left. Robin, in this, the ruck. That Robin's been great in ruck. Dimitina just continues to work hard. Start on the bench. That's possession number 19. A good for the half forward line and Buckley. Great use of the body there. Eight marks today. 34 possessions. It's a tough job for young Gallagher on Buckley though. Uh, Kills. I don't think that's the ideal matchup. And if the scores were a bit close, I don't think you'd see it. Hasn't quite had his kicking boot on today. One goal, three. Nathan Buckley will be shooting from 55 metres. Unloads. Oh. Gives it both barrels. Rams at home. Venture into the eye of the cyclone. Nothing in our power can stop the fury of nature's whirling winds. Feel their anger, destruction and terror. Cyclone, Monday on 7. Savage Garden, live and on tour in Australia. This is your show, OK? With exclusive backstage footage. Darren's temperamental. A two-hour world premiere. Savage Garden, live and on tour in Australia, Monday on 7. Graham, if I was Goodwin, Graham, if I was Goodwin and you were the coach, you sent a runner out to get off, and I was playing that sort of game, I'd send a message back. <laughs> <laughs> so Goodwin is off the ground, having had 32 possessions, eight marks. Phenomenal game. And James gets his first run with just seven minutes left. This player has not had the possessions of Edwards or Goodwin or Connell. It's Bassett, but he's played fantastically. James straight into the action with a perfect kick to Eccles. Connell attracts the ball again. Up outside the 50. In amongst the Seagulls. In front of the pack, Vardy. Rusciuto. Distance with a kick on the turn. Wren. Punched by Michael. And it goes through for a behind. So he stuck to his job pretty well now, Michael. Sean Wren's been a real focal point for Adelaide in, in attack, but... Yeah, Mel Michael stayed right with him. Done a very good job when the ball's been in the air. O'Bree comes out wide to Bathyrus. And Rupert strolls over half back. It's good running. Josh Fraser takes the mark down towards half forward. Well, they've worked out a way, they worked out a way really well from their kickoff. Fraser's kick to a fast leading Tarrant. He had to back up though, and the ball out of play. A fair bit of attention from Ben Hart too, I thought. Comparison to uh, the round two game when Collingwood won by eight points. Collingwood's score today is about the same, 15-11 compared to 14-19. But the Crows have gone from 13-14 that time to 22-13. So they've improved by nine goals and there's still six minutes left. Rocker. He's looking for Tarrant Buckley. Kept his body on the ball, does well, caught high. Will take the free. Appreciative for uh, Adelaide uh, Rose crowd, but the free kick was there. We're not going to give anything away. Just watch it here. Yeah, it's been a cave it. Probably accidentally, really, but definitely took him over the shoulder and the umpire saw it. So Nathan Buckley going for his third goal. And he's been magnificent today. Right on 50. Can he bend it back? Wrong side. And the crowd's pretty happy with that. But uh, Nathan Wainsby, he's really worked his heart out to get Collingwood and keep Collingwood in this game. Hard. Again, been very good today, along with this man, Bassett. They form a pretty strong partnership across that last line of defence, Eccles. Looks like he's an improving player. Good kick out in front, was quick through the air to Crow, to Wren. Just enjoying his comeback game today. Bit at four goals as well. Rusciuto just keeps on winning the ball. Inside 50. Rotran in front. His versatility never ceases to amaze. Maybe plays really well at centre half back. When Adelaide were winning premierships, he was at centre half forward. And when the club is in trouble, he goes into the ruck and 
not only gets his hands to the ball in the centre of the ground, he's able to really hurt players and teams around this, the ground with his marking and his penetration with his kick. And this is a classic kicking style. Well, the reaction behind the goals will tell the story. And there's no reaction. <laughs> so it's a behind. Not a very kicking style at all. Just as well they have the lights on here at Football Park. Very dark in Adelaide. Well, it's just, just gone five o'clock. Is it? Dimitina towards the centre. Davis and Kinnear in front. Davis, the good recovery. He kicked three goals in the first quarter, Nick Davis. Father Craig, probably watching up in New South Wales, will be wrapped. Buckley again. 30-second kick coming up for Nathan Buckley. Wosley. Still too far out to score. 44-point lead. Anthony Rocker's not too far out to score. And we now, haven't seen much of that today, have we? We just haven't seen him get within range and anywhere within 60 metres he is. The big Ruckman on the mark, of course, makes him go back a little further. Yeah, Sean Wren stands the mark. Well, if this would have been played in Melbourne, they'd be howling for this one to go through. He has kicked it out of sight. What a kick. Oh, what a kick. <laughs> Three to Anthony. And that's what you come to see now. He's not happy because the game hasn't gone anywhere near the way he'd like it to go. It hasn't been his best day. It was a slightly high kick from James Wosley. Rocker stretched, but the kick, <laughs> one of the real features of our game. Yeah, great. Shaking his head, re realises it's going to be a better day for him. Well, they were 49 points down this last quarter of the Pies. They've dragged it back to a 38-point ball game. They were down 36 at three-quarter time. So they haven't given it away, the Pies. Dimitina has worked hard in close. He's been good in the clinches. Now, you're right, KB. Gary Ayres wouldn't be happy with this last quarter finish because uh, that percentage at the end of the season will be very, very important. Same stage, though. Uh, Mick Malthouse would take something from the game. Colling would have... I think it's a much improved no, performance no, no. today. It's been a really entertaining game, and they, they haven't given it up at all. Well, they've kept right out of the heart. And young Davis here has booted three goals as well. So probably his best game for Collingwood. Just in his first season, McLeod has been so dangerous today. He's booted four goals. To the half-forward line, out in front, Rockman again. Give us a kick. Now he's a thumping kick himself. Kicking into the breeze, 55 metres out. Unloads, it's a big kick. It's a big kick. He's hit the post. Oh. <laughs> well, I remember when he kicked, I think it was five goals in the preliminary final. Yes. It was magnificent that day, and his yeah. kicking is such a great feature. There it is, but it just fades to the left. Bree, what breeze there is just grabbed it. See, watching Buckley, I don't want to frighten those Collingwood people watching, but I still think he is favouring that knee just a fraction. How about Robert? He's only had 38 possession. He's probably weary, uh, Curls. Could be right. Might be just tired. Robbins kicked three behinds and two of them were posters. Scotland, just under three minutes left at Football Park. Lecuria goes for a stroll through centre half back in the direction of Buckley. Smart punches, comes down to the front. Collingwood a big show here as Kinnear gets it forward. Tarrant caught behind. There's three crows against him. Tarrant hasn't got a friend within 100 metres. Oh, here comes Leon. Well, Leon had to go in and try and spoil Rent. That was no contest. Peter Caven clears for the Crows. Back to centre wing. He's had a huge second half. Rob Renard, oh, terrific trap. And then he's not doing much to get it out. Williams off with a slight knock on his right leg. And the umpire is going to ball that up. It was a pretty good effort by O'Bree then to spoil Matthew Rob. Matthew Robin tried to get up, up in the air early, but couldn't control it. His second effort at ground level was good, though. Robin wins in the ruck. Chopped off by Dimitina. Buckley gets another touch. Into Scotland. This looks promising. Wosley can't break the tackle. It was a very firm grip put on him. Further afield. And now right in front is Josh Fraser. Well, I'm not sure. Well, I'm absolutely sure he can't kick it as far as Anthony Rocker. But he's about uh, 10 or 12 metres closer. But I tell you what, he's a reasonable kick for a young man. He's, he's still going to grow a little bit. And he's certainly going to grow out. But the one thing this big... 
young fella has got is uh, football skill. Once again, Wren stands the mark. He's got a kick from about 52 metres. It's a good effort. Just tails away on him. Yeah, pushed it out there. Always like to see a really tall player standing on the mark, Raymond. Sean Wren's done that both times now with the yeah. uh, with Rocker having a shot and also Josh Fraser. I mean, you just got to kick it over him, don't you? Makes it a lot harder. It's always you know, it means he's a thinking footballer. Yeah. Caven from half back. Robin's a target. Mel Michael. He's played well, this boy. He's battled hard, hasn't he? Early in the season, he was playing on the forward line, and he looked the goods there as well. He goes wide to Lockyer, just trying to regain some of the early season touch. Just the touch of the fumbles recovers well through the centre square and goes very, very short and finds Scotland. So he's going to kick the ball long. Tarrant on a long lead. He hasn't really been able to make space today because this man has been so good in heart. Tarrant recovers well. Davis. He's booted three goals today, just weighing up the options, uh -huh. and the option is a poor one. Well, there was no one in front of him. You saw him hesitate, but as he looked up, Adelaide players had just flooded back there and uh, filled up the space to kick, mesmerised him. Really went straight to Connell. So Bassett just running down the time clock to Connell, who's had a terrific game with 30 possessions and nine marks today. So it's a, it's a good performance by Connell. Gallagher just behind the wing. Just seconds remaining here at Football Park. Sure with the spoil from behind. But Johnson in front, the safe mark. It's been a good performance by the Crows. They were outscored by nine points in the first quarter. They've won every quarter since then. And the final margin is 38 points. So the Crows in front of more than 40,000 people at Football Park have put away Collingwood. Amazing. The Crows started the season with five straight losses. And the Crows and the Pies with five wins. Turn the heat up on your hot water bills. See how environmentally friendly alternatives can save you money. It is a long-term investment. Got a sweet tooth? This raspberry coconut slice is a real taste. Help Australia, we're the mighty Adelaide Crows. faster respected by our Well, a great performance here today by the Crows. They were beaten in the first quarter, but they won the last three. Probably their best term was the second, when they turned a nine-point deficit into a 24-point lead, and they finished up winning by 38 points. Big score, too. 22-15 to 16 goals, 13. And look at the goal kickers on the forward line. Benke, five. McLeod, four. Wren, four. Edwards, three. And for Collingwood, Nick Davis. Well, all his came in the first quarter, three. Anthony Rocker kicked three. Neon Leon Davis kicked three goals. Buckley, Sav and Reece Shaw each kicked two goals. Well, an impressive display, and it keeps them there boxing on, the Crows. Well, particularly when results have gone their way in mm. the other rounds. But it was a really entertaining game, and uh, whilst Collingwood uh, weren't in the game at the end, I thought there were pl plenty of good signs for them throughout the course of the game. Adelaide's big bonus is Wren back to yeah. some sort of form, though. Let's have a look at the Mitsubishi Motors stats for the game today. And, uh, well, not surprisingly, Adelaide right up there. Um, 82 percent efficiency may be down but fancy getting an inside 50 70 times yes and Collingwood's defense was good that's probably why the efficiency is, isn't as uh, good as it should be but uh, the midfield and defense for Adelaide were really the keys and they gave some of their key forwards a, a good look at the ball early now I'd be interested Cornsey in your votes well apologies to a couple of players Tyson Edwards Maddie Connell Sean Wren Brian Binky but here they are Simon Goodwin, three votes, uh, Nathan Buckley, two. Now, they're opposed to each other, but both had enormous influence over their team. And Nathan Bassett, uh, not as many stats as a lot of others, but his game at full back was fantastic. His desperation was really incredible, and I think sometimes the defenders don't get enough uh, accolades, and he deserved the vote. Yeah. Well, the Crows are warming down in the rooms and looking forward to what they have, and they run into the finals, and they still could make it yet. And uh, uh, Neil Curley is down in the rooms, and here he is with Tyson Edwards. Now, Ty, um, a real good three quarters. Last quarter, just a bit slack. 
Yeah, a little bit, I guess. I don't know whether we ran out of legs or what, but it was, it was a pretty hard game. There was a lot of hard running involved, but um, probably wasn't the prettiest football ever, but uh, it was good to get a, get a win on the board again. The improvement in your, in your football, you're really, the last year in particular, you've really put more into the game. Yeah, I think um, I got a little bit fitter over the summer. That's, uh, you know, given me a chance to get to more contests and uh, get a bit more of the ball, so that's probably probably helped a bit. No restriction on back the day, just a man-on-man -man situation? Oh, uh, I think Simon Goodwin ran with him for a little while, but, uh, you know, we, we want to go out attacking and play our sort of game and, uh, you know, take it up to him. Sean Wren, uh, what does his presence do to you boys, particularly when he's on the ground? Yeah, that's right. I mean, he's a, he's a great bloke, Rennie. He's a fantastic player. And just to have him out there and him taking a couple of grabs and kicking a couple of goals, and he always gets pretty excited, so he pumps the boys up, and it's, you know, it's great to have him back again. How did you escape the bud rule in that last quarter? Oh, I, was, I was hiding a bit. I tried to keep away from the ump. So, so you're obviously aware of it? Yeah. Matty Robin, when he goes on the ball, he gives you a, a big presence around the ground. Yeah, that's right. Um, you know, it's probably good that we've got a few uh, different options there with Matty, Rhett Biglins, Rennie, and uh, you know Ben Marsh when he was here, Ken McGregor, all these sorts of blokes. But um, you know Matty sort of covers a lot of ground and uh, you know creates a bit of run for us too. What about Bass's game at fullback? That was a beauty. Yeah, he played fantastic today. He's uh, he's really hard at it, Bass, and uh, always gives 100 percent, and uh, he certainly did well today too. I know you got a job to do. Thanks very much for your time, Tyson. Back to you, boys. We'll take a short break and be back at Football Park shortly. And final score here at Football Park, where the Crows' big winners over Collingwood, 22-15 to 16 goals, 13. Let's have a listen to what Mick Malthouse, the coach of Collingwood, had to say after the game. You had bursts today, good footy, but you struggled going forward, particularly with Tarrant, and of course, Sab being pretty well held. Uh, there's, there was a, look, we got beaten by six goals from a side that, uh, played on their home ground with a big crowd supporting them and coming off a loss. I'm not saying we weren't fight, fighting for a place in the eight, but realistically we're under the pump. Adelaide were, so I think Adelaide had a lot to play for, so we had to come and match that intensity. So there's a lot to like about our game today and there's a lot obviously where we can improve. And I think that um, the improvement will come over the next 12 months or so. When you see the intensity is very hard to hold with a, a younger side. So I think if we can maintain, if we can get better on that intensity level, we'll be better uh, right across the board. Did you focus more on attacking the style of game today? Because oh. it seems as though your boys were prepared to try and do things. Oh, no, we didn't differ from our game plan. It's very, very... No, you can't change... You change, change the strategies marginally, but the game plan itself, you've got to be very careful about, given that we're trying to teach as much as we possibly can in as short a time as we can. So I don't think it's wise to start mucking around with, um, with, the, with the type of structure you've got in place, particularly when you're telling a player one week one thing and you don't want to change it for the next week. Mm. Was the business with the bus any great distraction? No, no. no. In fact, very, very grateful for, for um, a couple of bus buses that uh, one offloaded all their supporters. And yeah. We got, I think, 15 or 16 players on that and we, uh, a couple of Commented a couple of cars and they were quite happy about bringing the rest of the crowd. So, no, could, no, no. Is it true that you became a traffic cop out there? Well, either that or we're going to be playing on some highway out a long way from here, I can tell you. The two Davis boys, are they developing as you'd like? Both played pretty reasonable games today. Oh, I think uh, Nick took a good step today in his, prep in his uh, development and Leon, look, Leon's got undoubted skill. Mm -hmm. And every game we see him play now, he's just getting, he's putting a little bit more... Uh, not something to put more into it. I think what he's probably doing is gaining from the experience of playing on a, on a variety of opponents, which is very good for us. Hey, were you pleased with your last quarter finish? Because the boys really put in hard for you. Well, they put in hard to make sure that we didn't get flogged, oh. and uh, well, there were six goals each, I think. We would have preferred, obviously, to finish um, in the plus side of it, but it's pretty easy to... That's why the people sit in the crowd, because it's very easy to, to shout and, and uh, have a bit of a breather. And the hard things, on the top of the pyramid side of things, is the elite sportsmen who, week in, week out, have to produce. And at times, I suppose, when you look at the scoreboard and you're five or six down, it's easy to go to ten down. But I, I, was, I was particularly happy with the fact that players just kept on keeping on. Mm -hmm. Now, I don't think the game reached any great heights in the last ten minutes of the game, but at least we didn't allow Adelaide to, to dictate the last ten minutes. Mick Malthouse, win, lose or draw, always interesting. Let's hear what Gary Ayres had to say. Were you happy with the midfield today? 
much better. Uh, the centre clearances were certainly better. Our start was better, which obviously doesn't put you on the back foot as much. And I thought the way we approached the centre square today on the wings with uh, Connell and Eccles and certainly in the midfield with Goodwin, uh, McLeod, Rashudo, Biglands and Sean Wren going in there for a bit of time and then Matthew Robin later on, I think that was all reasonably positive. With Buckley, was it the plan to keep rotating blokes off him? The day. Well, I basically said to the players that, look, what we're going to do today is that because I felt we'd gone a bit negative in our, in our probably thinking that when you went out to the centre square, it would be a case of matching up on basically who you wanted to match up on. And if there was a change, I would just uh, call it from the box. So, you know, in the end, Mark went there very early in the first quarter, but then ended up that uh, Simon had him for pretty much most of the game. And, um, you yeah, know, there were sort of other little changes in and around the stoppages and that. But, you know, Buckley's had 37 and Goodwin's had 32. And, you know, he's kicked a couple. And uh, Simon, I thought, was pretty good today. Actually, that was it, Gary. After the first quarter, when Buckley was clearly on top, and then Simon got into the game and gave you a lot of drive, particularly in goal scoring, and that more does even that situation out, doesn't it? Yeah, it, it, it does, because obviously Nathan's just you know, averaging so many possessions per game, and the fact that then he went forward and uh, scored a couple of goals. But, yeah, look, Simon, I think's just been improving as the whole year's gone on, and, and his ability to find the ball, be taken to the contest and then use it, and really it's very, very encouraging for him, I think, down the track that he can become a, an on-baller for us. I was trying to picture you in the coach's box halfway through that last quarter. You would have been looking for a, a really strong finish in that last quarter to try and made maybe a 10-goal quarter or something. And yeah. well, when that kept coming at you, I thought, gee, Gary's not going to be happy with this. No, well, obviously, percentage in the next five weeks, I think we're all fully aware, is going to be very, very important because of how the, the log jam seems to be with teams that have got nine, eight and uh, seven wins. So, you know, we'll watch seven goals. As I said, you hit the post on five occasions, you jag a couple of those, and that becomes a, a ten-goal win. So, you know, because of where we came from last week, I'll take a seven. But, yeah, look, it would have been better, obviously, for a, uh, a better percentage win. But... Then again, you've got to give credit to Collingwood. They haven't been blown away this year. I think it's only been probably once or twice that have actually had big losses, whereas in all the other games, they've been around about that five, six goal mark when they've lost. There were a couple of incidents in the third quarter. I think it was the third, or uh, maybe the second, when Sean Wren went into the centre, mm. and he really did put some leaping in there and got some beautiful clear balls. That, that's Sean Wren of about four years ago at his best. I, and you wouldn't have seen too much of that, I guess. Oh, from an opposition, opposition point of view, yeah. but... No, certainly I think how his pattern of the day evolved was obviously he took those couple of marks early in the first quarter and uh, jagged a couple of goals, so he would have certainly been feeling pretty, pretty good confident-wise. And I thought it was an appropriate time to put him in there and uh, he did jump, jump high and he gave us the momentum going forward, which was important. And certainly I would think that he'll only benefit enormously from getting through that game after being on the sidelines for six weeks. Gallagher, Gary, uh, is he making the sort of progress you'd like, uh, a young player? He is over the last two weeks. Yep. You know, Leon Davis got a couple of goals on him late in the quarter, which uh, probably just made it not as good as he would he would like to have had the game turn out. But I think his last two weeks across half-back certainly show the kids absorbing the information that the coaches are telling him. And, of course, he's prepared to run, run the lines. He obviously knows that he's uh, just got to tidy up a few areas, but his last fortnight I've been pleased with. And is Matty Connell sort of playing the type of game that you're looking from him at the moment? Yeah, look, he's racked up a lot of possessions today. He works hard across the middle. Uh, again, like probably a lot of guys today, I just thought at times we just didn't hurt Collingwood enough with our ball use. But again, he was a four-quarter contributor, and that's what you want. Now, let's take a look at the ladder as it stands after round 17. Well, who can catch the Bombers? Still unbeaten after 17. Carlton, well, that's 14, but uh, what is it now? Uh, 12 in a row. Kangaroos uh, right up there, but it's interesting that Brisbane now have moved into the top bracket for Hawthorne during this round. Now we look at Adelaide, and they're just out of the eight on percentage, five point four and a half percent. The games have closed up. This is no doubt the, the critical game for Adelaide is next week when they play Geelong. And look at Port down there, four and a half wins and a very poor percentage. Less said the better. Not happy down there. No. Let's take a look at the matches in round 18 next week. And it's Essendon still unbeaten against the Fremantle Dockers at Colonial. Good luck, Dockers. It could be a They're danger. Going right, it aren't could they? be a danger game. Fremantle have been very good away from home, but the Saturday game for Adelaide is absolutely critical. Their record at Shell Stadium is not good. 
and Geelong will be desperate for that one as well. Right, for Melbourne and Sydney, uh, the Swans, after their big win over the Eagles today, uh, it's a game for them at the MCG. And Richmond have been uh, so gallant, but they're running out of players. You think the Kangaroo are too strong, and, uh, well, you described the West Coast a few minutes ago, Drew. Yeah, and um, St Kilda actually, <laughs> funnily enough, haven't got a bad record against the Eagles in Perth. Yeah. Well, I wonder if, wonder if they could do two in a row since uh, Tim Watson got out of the business. And then Port play the Bulldogs here at Football Park next Sunday. That's in round 18. So the good news, apart from uh, South Australia, is concerned that Crows are still there, just out of the eight on percentage. And uh, with those five games to go, who knows? Well, look, they've got the optimism that they can do it. Uh, they've got a couple of critical games there. Fate is in their own hands. Gary has said that for the last couple of weeks, and it makes for a very entertaining last five weeks. Sean Wren is back. Hope you enjoyed the telecast today. Good night to you all.